of intentions. The best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're six minutes away from a live episode of Free Talk Live, brought to you by Freekeen.com. Listen live at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,209, down $6. Silver opened at $16.43, down $0.21. Cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $239. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. Mistrial. That's the outcome in activist Antonio Baylor's appeal trial for his March 13, 2013 arrest in Gonzales, Texas. Baylor, who was court-watching at a friend's trial, was arrested for telling a police officer to go expletive himself. The officer had just escorted him out of the courtroom and told him he would be arrested if he returned. Baylor was eventually found guilty on the charge of disorderly conduct and fined $1 by the jury. He appealed the verdict, and at his trial yesterday, shortly after jury selection, the judge in the case declared a mistrial. The reason? The judge told the jury that the trial was the result of an appeal. A statement which is against a Texas rule for appellate courts, which bars judges from discussing prior proceedings. The new appeal trial is scheduled for March 30th and 31st, over two years after the original arrest. This isn't the only legal matter that Miller is currently facing. He's also standing trial in Austin, Texas on February 23rd for a failure to obey the order of an officer charge he received in association with his cop watch activities. Bueller recognizes just how hard it is to get an even taste of justice. It has become clear to me that in order for people to see justice within the system, they need to have tremendous resources in terms of connections, finances, and time. Thankfully for the activist, his intellect and community has allowed him the resources necessary to fight back. Baylor knows his legal battles and lawsuit will not bring down the police state, but he is hopeful that his efforts will make a difference. Through these cases, we can set precedent and embarrass the police just enough to help protect some people in the future from being abused. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets and boost your returns through leverage. Visit CoinArch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. That's CoinArch.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. 
Over 5,000 workers spread across 11 oil refineries are striking for the 19th day in a row. Negotiations between union and oil company representatives have resumed after a week off. The United Steel Workers Union is demanding safe staffing levels at refineries and chemical plants, as well as an increase in wages. Despite the negotiations and strikes, the companies continue to operate with temporary replacement employees. A growing number of Ohio parents are joining the movement to opt out of Common Core standardized testing for students. Cleveland.com reports several school districts are seeing an increase in parents and teachers who are speaking out against the controversial testing program. Some parents have expressed concerns with the school's focus on Common Core, while others have removed their children from school in an attempt to avoid the new tests. Canadians are uniting in their resistance to a bill aimed at reducing security threats. Bill C-51 would grant new powers to the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, including the right to disrupt or counter-message terror activity in and outside of Canada. Critics say the bill will criminalize free speech, remove privacy protections, and eliminate due process for Canadians. A number of press organizations and political leaders have begun to speak out against the measure in response to public pressure. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Hear from speakers such as Charlie Shrem, Dr. Robert Murphy, Vitalik Buterin, and Catherine Bleich. March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Tickets on sale now at texasbitcoinconference.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. This year's Coachella Music Festival is happening right now. And that means one thing, the largest gathering of contact jugglers in the world. All the biggest names from the sea juggling scene are performing all over the festival, including Mr. Tomorrow, Isis, White Angel, Chad Bronstein, and of course, the legendary Conundrum. Our own Lena Perez is live at Coachella. This music festival is a who's who of org masters and jugglemen. What have the highlights been so far? Well, Yasu Kaitu did his first stateside performance in three years over by the Smoothie Tent, which was amazing. And there was festival favorite Hans Hansman freestyling in his usual spot near the portable toilets. But I'm really excited for Becca Flannery Miller. She's four foot five, wears transition lenses, and is a master of the multi ball. I love her. And I heard there was a surprise late night set from the Winterhorn Brothers. Yeah, right outside the DJ tent. It was an unbelievable flurry of spearsmanship. I wish I was there. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Ian is off tonight, so it's me. And Cantwell. What did I say me? Mark. It's me, Mark. Yeah, and Cantwell. Bringing you uh, another exciting episode of Free Talk Live. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It's three nights in a row for me. You're going to start losing listeners if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't try to unionize, buddy. Um, <laughs> the uh, You can also use uh, Skype to call us. Our username is lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm on Skype. And you just send a user request and we'll click on it at some point or another during the show and then you can call in and you'll sound usually a bit better so um anyway 855 450 free i found it i think this is a a sort of a perennial topic uh people are constantly getting married and i think that this is an important one so um it's the art of manliness Good and, sight. Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, what I've seen from it is usually things like the 50 things a real man should know. And oh, so you get like a lot of lists there because you're like a radio host. Yeah, I like lists. You like those things. Um, I don't know what else is there. I don't spend that much time on the art of manliness. But generally the things that I have seen on the art of manliness, I've said, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, it's not that I don't believe that there aren't gender roles. I certainly do. Uh, I think that it's uh, in this day and age, you have to kind of be, it's it's bold to call your website the art of manliness. 
It really is. If you it didn't, because you're, you're perpetuating a stereotype. You're depressing women. Me, 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 me. It's and now even men too. I mean, like I, I was one of the things I got ticked off at at a voice for men before they kicked me off their roles over there was they sort of got into the whole like I don't know. Uh, it's like uh, penis packing social justice warriors, and they're like trying to uh, go for the whole gender egalitarian thing. And, yeah. It, you know. Oh, we want to embrace all types of masculinity. And I'm like, ah, I don't know about all that, pal. <laughs> I kind of think that, you know, to some extent you should be able to change some oil in a car. It doesn't mean you have to do it every time. You just should be able to change the oil in a car. They have new labor-saving devices that allow you to just suction the oil right out and pour some new in. Yeah. It's not like it's that difficult. Yeah. Um, you know, you should be able to build a fire. I, I, it's, I, I'm trying to think of let other Let me tell ones, you this yeah. hilarious one. Okay. So um, I had an ex-girlfriend, and her sister went camping with a couple of boys. Don't ask me. I don't have any other, uh, any other explanation other than she went camping with a couple of young men. And I suspect nothing untoward particularly happened. And, and they called me at about, oh, 8.30, because these guys couldn't figure out how to light wood on fire Dry That's wood on fire with lighters, <laughs> you know. And they were not like I don't know in uh, ten feet of snow or something. Or, no, this uh, is Florida, so I had to go out to the park. You know, it wasn't too far from uh, from the house. I drive a couple of miles in the car. <laughs> I light these kids' fire. <laughs> these are 16, 17, 18 year old kids, um, young men, and at that age, you should be able to light a fire with dry wood and a lighter. Yeah, I mean, I'm a some, little and some newspaper. I'm I'm a little spoiled, I guess, because, I mean, I did, uh, I'm not a big fan of that uh, army training program known as the Boy Scouts today, but I did, I was sort of compelled into that at a very young age, and they taught me that, and I was surprised. We'd go out camping, and people really wouldn't know what to do. they just, like, throw sticks and match, throw matches at the sticks, you know? They'd yeah. look at, where's the gasoline? And I'm like, you go get some leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. So, no doubt, wow. I, I, too, uh, was a scout, so... This is from The Art of Manliness, and it's about acquiring an engagement ring. And I think that this is important because there's so many good reasons that diamonds are a bad idea. So, going on. You've heard, you've found the the woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with, and you're ready to make it official by getting down on one knee and proposing. The next step is to figure out what kind of engagement ring you'll be proffering at at that singular moment. The choice seems obvious. A diamond, of course. The bigger and blingier, the better. By the way, my wife asked me to marry, um, to get married. I then asked her about a week later in order to sort of make it official, but um, yeah. <laughs> you had to turn around and be like, okay, here's a ring for you <laughs> after you asked kinda, me to marry. That's kind of how it went, yeah. Well, I mean, That's it's an interesting scam. It's, it's, um, well, I had a ring <laughs> and I gave it to her. Um, but, uh, you know, she wanted to uh, get rid of that. And had she seen the ring already? It was my ex fiance, so I decided that uh, she could do what she wanted with it since I had it. Um, and she decided she just wanted to see it sold and, um, she, you know, bought her own little thing that, uh, that she wears. Something that's not nearly as ostentatious. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think that it's tough for a woman to, you know, ask a man to marry them and then not have, you know, that 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 moment. Right. Uh, like, well, tell me about how you guys. <laughs> well, who, how how do you propose? Well, actually, he didn't. Yeah. You know, that's a tough one. So. I did, and he said, "Sure, honey," and went back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, going on, Art of Manliness says diamonds weren't always the case. The idea that engagement rings equal diamond rings is a modern one that grew out of a shrewd marketing ploy by De Beers. Despite the aura that surrounds them, diamonds are, in truth, neither rare nor special. They are expensive simply because De Beers' cartel has succeeded in controlling both supply and demand. In the early 1900s, diamonds were as common were a common choice for engagement rings, um, and but they were considered just one of uh, an option amongst many, and people were choosing diamonds less and less often. When folks did go the diamond route, they bought small, inexpensive ones, preferring to spend their money on other things. This is 1900s, 
probably food. Yeah, <laughs> need, <laughs> needing to get people to buy heaps of diamonds uh, that they were sitting on in 1938, De Beers launched a decades-long, multi-million-dollar press and advertising campaign that sought to imbue the jewels with romantic meaning and social status. This is one of the most epic advertising successes in all of history, by the way. Um, speaking as a, an advertising guy, you're going to get a lot of... Tra- when you when you do advertising, you're going to get a lot of stories and a lot of training surrounding this marketing campaign around oh, this is this goes down in the marketing uh, education of American salesmen. Is that the... Uh, yeah, it, it is. Worldwide, it's, probably. It's the most epic of uh, successes. I mean, there might be a better one, maybe the state, I don't know. But uh, diamonds, taking diamonds from just a... A stone to the thing that you have to give someone to get married was just marketing back when advertising was still sort of new and Madison Avenue was kind of new. It's interesting. I had never heard that before. I knew that the I I know that the supply of diamonds is far greater than we are sort of led to believe in the sort of public not in the know realm. Right. That they're sitting on all of these things and. That leads into your whole blood diamond thing in Africa sure. and whatnot. And I did not know about the whole marketing scheme of it, though. That's yep. fascinating. Most- I mean, at what point does it go from marketing to propaganda? <laughs> I don't know. Speaking as an advertising guy, I'm probably not the one to, to Lines, ask about that. Probably blurry. Well, you're you're a marketing guy, and we're you know we're sort of propagandists on here, right? You know, so indeed, we're you're you're a salesman and a propagandist, and the lines probably get a little blurry. Right? I've got to say that I think that uh, it's you know. There's a lot of gemstones that are more rare than a diamond. You can go with a much better story. And this is what uh, – what it, it all comes down to the story because, uh, like, for instance, they did, I don't know, some kind of study where they gave people wine. And in one case, they told them it was box wine, and they had the box wine – you know, they put them in MRIs, and they sort of looked at their brain and had – you know, in one case, they have the box wine experience. And then they tell them, it's a Chateau Briand 1958. <laughs> it has come from this particular vineyard, crushed by the, the naked feet of a young immigrant. Right? And then they, <laughs> they do the whole thing, right? And then that person, those people have an entirely different, their brain has an entirely different experience. Yeah. So what you really need is you need something that has a cool story behind it, not that is, you know, flashy or whatever and many gemstones are far more rare than diamonds so why diamonds yeah i mean diamonds are not i I don't i don't i've never understood i mean gemstones in general i just don't get right it's like it's a it's pretty rock it's a pretty rock and light (laughs) is this a pretty rock yeah and then and then diamonds are like yeah it's not even like there's no color to it it's just it's a clear it's like a piece of glass well, I suppose it goes with everything, I think, is what probably the best argument for a diamond. Mm. This is that it there's nothing that a diamond doesn't go with as far as an outfit goes. My mother's got j- all kinds of different jewelry for different outfits. There's nothing it doesn't go with except a budget. <laughs> 855-450-3733. Tell us your diamond thoughts. 855-450-FREE. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. For deals on the latest hardwood flooring trends, get to Lumber Liquidators. Don't settle for the stuff at the big box stores. We've got all the hottest flooring styles for less, like the timeless look of real oak. This week, get refinished oak hardwood for less than you'd pay for laminate at other stores. Now, it's an incredible 99 cents. Or get three-quarter inch solid pre-finished red oak for $2.59. Plus, it's your last chance to save $500 on Bellawood. Get deals on bamboo, laminates, and more from 49 cents. And special financing. Don't miss this season's hottest hardwood deals. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. 
For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. A man age 50 non-tobacco user may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers too. Call the term Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at juicyjuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kids should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You can talk about anything. We've been, we started off the show talking about diamonds and engagement rings and sort of that relationship and how diamonds really they're a they're twentieth century. Diamonds as engagement rings is a twentieth century, mid twentieth century invention. It's a mid twentieth century scam going awry. <laughs> Indeed, certainly people got uh, diamond. You know, women got diamonds as engagement rings at times in the past. Beyond before that, but it wasn't. And they like, picked them up at 7-Eleven, I think. <laughs> they certainly weren't as expensive. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt about it. Um, you can give us a call on the phone lines, 855-450-3733. A little, like, quarter machine at the supermarket. You just turn it. And... They've got diamonds right there. <laughs> they were probably more valuable than that. But according to this, they people just preferred smaller diamonds at that time, too. It was early 1900s. At that point, more people lived on farms than they did in cities still. So it was a completely different world. Uh, the people that were getting married in 1900 probably had never seen a flush toilet. So, <laughs> you know, this is a, an entirely different uh, world. Speaking of different worlds, there's no world quite like Las Vegas. Like what? Las Vegas. Oh, okay. I thought you said like Las Vegas or something. Las Vegas. No, Las Vegas. Yeah, you can go there and see all kinds of shows that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. I think that the concentration of shows and food, for me, uh, really makes Vegas singular. Ob obviously, lots of people like to gamble, and there's always, uh, you know, the, the partiers, the real partiers, people who can party far beyond my ability to party, but... Vegas.com brings it all together for you. What they do is they find the best rates on the shows and the restaurants and the, uh, the, the, the bottle clubs and all that stuff, and they bring you the best prices. Also tours, I should mention the tours and the attractions. 
All that stuff, they find you the best prices. Now, that's what they do normally, but we've got a coupon code that'll allow you to get 10% off of everything on the site except the air and hotel packages. Now, anything that has to do with air, they don't have control over as far as uh, discounts go or anything like that. That's the airlines. But hotel packages, yes, but it's the air hotel combo packs. But if you go to Vegas.com right now and enter my code, FTL, at the pro in the promo box at checkout, you'll receive an extra 10% off of everything. Thing, uh, except for the air and hotel packages, as I mentioned. So it's Vegas.com. You can get your bonus savings on hotels and shows with uh, the secret code FTL. What really makes Vegas.com different is if you're calling someplace where, I don't know, the folks are uh, in Poughkeepsie or Sheboygan, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna help you out. They're gonna get you some uh, good deals. There's no doubt about it. But they don't have the inside track to get the the best deals the fastest, like Vegas.com, because they all live there, they work there, they party there. Also, they've got a um, they've got a, a tool that allows you. It's called the price drop tool. The second a price drops, Vegas.com drops them on their site in real time. And um, if you've already booked, they're going to they're going to notify you of your changes and ensure that you still get the best deal. So that's the drop drop watch. Wow, these uh, guys are like, dropping prices like bras in a strip club. <laughs> it's Vegas, baby. So, Vegas.com, coupon code FTL to save an additional 10%. It's a really great deal, and I am going to actually be using them for, I think I'm going to be going out to Freedom Fest. So, there you go. Vegas.com, coupon code FTL. Let's go to Glenn calling in from Philly. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Uh, good evening, everyone. Hey. Uh, am I there? Yes, Hello? you are. You are here. What's on your mind? I'm here. Yes. Can you hear Hello? me, Glenn? I don't hear anything. Okay. All right. Sorry, put, Glenn. Put Glenn back on. Hold. I'm talking, but I'm not hearing. All right. Let's go to Nathan calling in from Texas, I believe. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. That was a great first topic. Uh, from listening to Free Talk Live, I've learned how to ruin Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas. And now <laughs> I know now I know how to ruin the, uh, the marriage uh, traditions, too. Oh, there's plenty of ways to do that. Just keep on listening. We'll give you all sorts of ideas for that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that segues into my topic, which is uh, this uh, MRA stuff that uh, molyneux has been doing. Segway. And the question I had for Cantwell. Yeah. Um, so I, I've been avoiding these videos that uh, they're about men's rights and so forth. Um, but, you know, I've been thinking it might be time to be to take a look at it. And I was curious because there's, I remember reading some MRA men's rights activists, for uh, those who don't know. I remember reading some MRA material a while ago, and I remember one of the takeaway points was uh, uh, do not date American women. That seemed to be the consensus of the uh, MRA crowd. And uh, I was curious what your uh, thoughts were on that. Some of the things they recommended were to uh, date a woman of lesser education than you, so presumably to not be exposed Why? to feminist propaganda. Okay. Well, because the, and uh, or to go to another country and find a woman from a quote patriarchal unquote society. Um, so of course the the charge there would be that you're looking for someone to be you know submissive and yeah. just you know be a scuttle along or behind you on the sidewalk. <laughs> so <Right>. I don't <laughs> I don't know that MRAs are telling you not to date American women. There's I know that there's a website called Boycott American Women, and I've read there and and I've had some fun with that. Uh, and I and I have not seen at at least not at a voice for men. OK, and I don't know. There's a lot of different publications out there that say a lot of different things that might call themselves men's rights outfits. But at a voice for men, I don't think you'll see them telling you not to date American women or to go and look for a less educated woman. But I can see why somebody would tell you to do that. Right. I mean, American women are bombarded with this feminist propaganda. I, I couldn't imagine trying to date someone who was into that stuff. If I if I identify a woman as a feminist, I can't can't get away from her fast enough and if she's spent time in any like modern american university then there's a good possibility that she's really been bombarded with that and it's only a matter of time before she's talking about rape culture and the patriarchy and i simply would not stand for that in anybody that i was going to entertain being in a sexual relationship with if her views on gender are that distorted then i don't want to be anywhere near her yeah as far as uh, somebody from a, another country i i think that I think that um, it can some some American women believe that they can get by simply on sex. 
Like, and the, they can. Well, I, they they may be able to, but not with me, right? Um, yeah. Like to me, a par- marriage is a partnership. You need to bring stuff to the table, and uh, like I'm going to bring the I'm going to work my butt off, and I'm going to give all my money to the family unit. And in exchange for that, um, I, you know, it, now it may be that I end up staying home. I, if my wife had tremendous wor- earning power, maybe I'm the guy who stays home. Now, I probably wouldn't go for that because it doesn't seem what's, seem like what's interesting to me. But it seems to me that you've got to, you got to figure out sort of what's equal, but it, um, what's fair, but not necessarily what's equal, right? Like 50% of the laundry, 50% of the, uh, the cleaning, 50% of the cooking, that might work for some couples, but. It's not going to work for all couples. The simple fact that, um, you know, you go out and you, you work your butt off all day, maybe you've got more hours or whatever, um, you know, then the other partner is going to need to fill in at that point. And I've just seen too many gals that seem very, very good at spending money, very, very good at, uh, you know, sort of counting on their ability to uh, rock a man's world. And that's about all they bring. To the uh, table, and I'm not interested in that. Yeah, it's 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 entirely too frequent. I don't know if we, we let's keep him on a second, and and I want to talk to you about this more about this. All right, Nathan, hold the line. You can give us a call too, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-free. Free Talk Live or LRN.fm on Skype. Hey there, Guns80.com continues to surprise us with low prices and high-quality Ghost AR-15 rifle kits. At Guns80.com, Ghost AR-15 kits are an even better idea than buying at gun shows or through private parties. Because the Ghost (laughs) AR-15 kits at Guns80.com require no background check, no registration, they don't even have serial numbers. That's what I call privacy. Go to Guns80.com to order your Ghost AR-15 rifle kit. No dealers, no hassles, ship direct. Guns80.com or 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. This is Tim. Tim Austin, Senior Vice President of Kmart. Our company is working together with the March of Dimes through March for Babies to raise money and awareness about the serious problem of premature birth in the U.S. As a business leader, I know that babies born very sick or too soon cost businesses billions of dollars each year. That's why Kmart is committed to raising funds through our employees, customers, family, and friends to improve the health of moms and babies everywhere. Won't you please join us in March for Babies? Start a team today at marchforbabies.org. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was 
kind of stuck in the left right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. It's kind of been, uh, well, I don't know. It's a, sort of a mishmash. We went from sort of engagement rings and the topic of manliness, uh, dating, uh, in, you know, dating people, women from the U.S. and dating women from outside the U.S. So I think it's uh, been kind of all over the board, but focused on this sort of topic romantic being male and ro- romance being male i don't know topic there's there's a lot of um uh testosterone in the air i think yeah well you know that's free talk live for you um 85 percent is at this point 87 percent male uh, at this point on my uh if you go to demo.freetalklive.com you can fill out my listener survey and uh, you know, it was my that was my supposition. Is That's this- an extraordinarily high ratio. I, I to, to ha- I mean, you you have more women than I than I uh, certainly more <laughs> than I do on my website. Well, here's a way to get women. You put really cool Liberty bumper stickers on your car. Oh yeah, that'll get them every time. You can you can reach all kinds of people, not just uh, rom- romantic prospects with the ideas of liberty. You can do it from the back of your car with LibertyStickers.com. You're just driving around. You're going to reach thousands of people. You, you know, bumper stickers are interesting. You've yeah. scooted forward just a little bit to see people's bumper stickers better. I sure have. Yep. So check out the vast selection of witty, pithy, poignant, and downright bombastic liberty-oriented stickers at libertystickers.com. They're great just for making memes out of on the internet. This is just awesome stuff. They they certainly are. Some of them are really funny, and I've just gone through there and just gotten chuckles reading the slogans. Yep. LibertyStickers.com. Let's go back to Nathan on Skype. If you're calling in on Skype, I'm going to have to uh, – I, I, I can only take one at a time on Skype. So, sorry, you know, somebody more competent than I could probably handle it. Nathan, where uh, where did you hear these uh, MRA ideas? Well, before we went out, you were saying that you had heard that MRAs, basically men's rights activists, basically said find uneducated women from other countries. Where Where did you hear that? Well, unfortunately, I can't give you a site. Um, I don't think it was from an MRA website. Now that I think about it, it may have just been linked from one. It seemed like it seemed to me that if you take some of this MRA stuff seriously, and like I said, I have not looked into it, I'm avoiding your Molyneux playlist that you've got on your website. Um, but it seems to me if you take if you take it seriously, one of the implications would be, well, how do you solve this problem? Uh, you know, and to the and I just remember reading, you know, disgruntled, I guess that's what the feminists would call them, disgruntled men or whatever, uh, the type who say that you should you should look for an uneducated woman who won't be filled with all, all these bizarre feminist ideas and whatnot. But it I have a terrible me, time with uh, that. It's, it seems to me that you're saying to me that you haven't looked into it and you're here with some stereotypes that you don't have a source for. Well, and he's you, finding out how what you think about the subject. I mean, the thing. I, I, but you say that the. But what you said to me just now was they say the way we solve this problem. Well, who's they? What is the problem that they are trying to solve? Well, presumably the problem is that you don't want to date a woman influenced by negative feminist ideas and the patriarchy and so forth. So it sounds like you agree with me. Well, I certainly don't want to date a feminist. I, I don't want to be friends with feminists. I don't want them as neighbors. I don't want to be anywhere near these people. They're awful. Now, many feminists will say that feminism is simply the belief that the genders should be treated equally. Now, I I would uh, rebut that statement because I don't think you would call um, you know masculinism the belief that uh, the genders should be 
treated equally. Like that would be a really funny name for it. Yeah. So this if is, I started walking around talking about Arianism, yeah. right? People would not be thinking that I was talking about <laughs> equality. If um, you know, to 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 say that feminism means that uh, the ideas is, is that men should be treated equally uh, or that people should be treated equally suggests that women are currently not equal. And I'm going to say that I believe that women are, you know, as far as the law goes, protected at least as well, if not better than men are protected. Yeah, I'd say that the Violence Against Women Act might be just a little bit gender biased. Wasn't right? that repealed? No. Okay. No, that's the law. And, and it's, you know, you're passing laws specifically in the names of women. There are the federal government is handing millions of dollars to these feminist groups for for propaganda purposes they're they're passing laws uh, specifically favoring women uh, subsidizing women's education all these different things i mean well, women we, are graduating we, at a higher rate than men are yeah, from women, college there are more women in college now than men <laughs> and right? men uh, men make less in the under 25 demographic now consider that demographic will grow up at some point but men are making currently less men are more unemployed than women are um, so there's all kinds of statistics that one can trot out about uh, you know how really i don't think that there's anything left for feminism that that's, I guess, what my thought process is. Well, yes, it was bad a few decades ago when, for instance, my mom couldn't own property at certain times, you know, in the same way that her husband could. Uh, but this was many decades ago. Uh, she was the second field engineer for General Telephone and Electronics. She was a hardworking gal. Um, you know, I never heard her talk about feminism or the one thing that I've heard her complain about, um, you know, at, at all was that a forceful woman was called the B word where a forceful man was called a manager. But, well, but I the, think that the things have changed. First of all, let me just let me just say it. I'll just say it flat out. I don't believe in gender equality. I, I think it's complete nonsense. I, I think that people should be I don't think that the law should be treating people differently. OK, but. Very clearly, men and women are not equals. We're completely different creatures, okay? And so to say that we're going to be the same, that we all should be treated the same and have the same things expected of us is completely absurd. I do not want a society where women are 50% of the war casualties. I do not want a society where women are 50% of the coal miners. I don't want, and you know, I don't want these things. Neither I do like, women, honestly, because they're not 50% of those things. They certainly don't, and they're certainly not. I don't want them to be 50% of the prison population, right? Men are 90 plus percent of the prison population. We're like 99 percent of war casualties as combatants anyway. But even as non-combatants, uh, men are uh, far disproportionately killed in war zones uh, because they are mistaken for combatants. It's a, like on what planet do you say that you, th this this group of people is 90 percent of the prison population and 90 percent of the, the war casualties and uh, and and far more likely to be victims of violence, even rape and we're the ones oppressing you. I just don't understand where these people get off. It's just so far from reality that it's not even worth trying to have a serious conversation with them. And that's what gets me really frustrated. I'm dealing with people who want to legislate a society based on falsehoods. Nathan, he talk you into the ground? <laughs> well, uh, there was one more point I wanted to get at. And uh, uh, he brought quality and uh is now is this one of the mra uh things i've heard walter block say this before that if you look at the wage gap between men and women it goes away if you control for you know pregnancy and marriage yeah, that was and in, such that was in time magazine if you uh you know if you control for things like you know being at work and <laughs> you know you look at uh, the age differences and and because women at, at certain age groups tend to drop out of the work uh work market and you control for all these things you'll find that men and women working the same job at the same time they make the same amount of money with the same generally yeah. yeah with the you, same experience if you, if you account for all that it does so why why would i want to date somebody who after that's been de so thoroughly refuted that it's just completely f complete nonsense somebody who will run around talking about the gender wage gap in 2015 should jump off a bridge. I don't want these people to be in the same country as me, let alone sharing my bed. Thanks so much for the call, Nathan. Really appreciate it. 855 450 free. Let's go to Glenn calling in from Philly. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Can you hear me this time? I can. Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you this time. Ah, Excellent. Ah, got it worked out. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't. No, no, no. Anyway, I don't think it was on my end. This anyway, isn't a. This isn't an audio uh, helpline. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Memory, yes, but I like it too. Uh, the old uh, Irish Spring soap commercials, maybe before your time. But oh, was, I, was, no, I, I remember the sort of the Irish brogues, and then they uh, would take showers underneath the waterfalls. I thought that was pretty fun. I mean, you know, it just makes you want to take a shower under a waterfall. Yeah, yeah, and uh, ride in the little ox cart with the pretty red-haired lady. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, uh, but I, as, uh, in terms of manliness, um, you know, as a registered nurse, I can tell you that real men change diapers on people of whatever age, depending on the necessity. I would think that it would be an advantage to have the extra uh, upper body strength to be a nurse. And yep. I was recently a, a uh, uh, story I heard that uh, male nurses really get all kinds of trouble. I'd love to hear about it if you just hold the line here, Glenn. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special super early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through early March, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's 855-450-FREE. You can get archives of Free Talk Live going back for years for free at archives.freetalklive.com. Go get them, grab them up, do what you want with them. We don't even believe in intellectual property, really. So do what you want. 855-450-3733. It's archives.freetalklive. I'm going to go get a bunch of clips of you saying things out of context and make like a Mark Edge soundboard. You would not be the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the things you deal with, being on the Redidio. All right, let's go back to Glenn uh, in Philly, who is a uh, manly male nurse. Glenn, you're on Free Talk Live. That's right. Just like, you know, meet the fuckers or whatever. Yeah. You know? um, that's, I right. You, that's right. You just heard it on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I chose to be a nurse. It's a different role than a doctor. It's Thank some, you for your I'm service. Like yeah, indeed. I, yeah, I don't believe there's anything, any, anything but honorable work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, it's, yeah, it is nice. You yeah, you, you know, you know, we work hard, but meaning. Uh, but the, you know, I you, I feel good about what I do. I don't have to scam anybody. I, mean, I don't have to deal with that much in the way of politics or stuff like that. It's it's good that way. Um, learned early on, there's a bit of a male bias. Uh, nurses are known for eating their own. You know, uh, when it comes to the education process, they're hard, very hard on the women and stuff. But I learned early on there's a slight bias in favor of the males. Uh, the lifting thing comes in handy. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting um, gender so role reversal thing. Slightly, you're, you're saying you know. that because you get treat, that the nurses themselves tend to treat you just a little better because you're unusual. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, even the educators, like they – uh, even in school, like the teachers and stuff, uh, tended to be like harder on the women than on the men. Strangely enough, I but wouldn't doubt it. it. Interesting, Glenn. Thanks for the call. Yeah, eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Let's go to Colette in New Hampshire. Colette, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me on. I had to throw that in there for you, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, the how you doing? That was for you specifically. Oh, okay. Well, I'm. Uh... I'm I'm doing quite well, Colette. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to call and comment a little bit on the feminism topic because one of the previous callers um, regarding the don't date American women seemed to imply that American women are primarily the feminist movement, and that we're no, all I don't think so at all. That. Yeah, no, and that's kind of what I wanted to just say is you know I they don't speak for me, and I really don't think they speak for majority either um do you think things are know, equal or uh weighted towards men in american culture or weighted towards women in american culture i really don't think it's either in my experience i have i mean people have tried to dismiss my opinions for reasons before but never because i'm a woman they have dismissed my opinions because of my political persuasion being that i'm not political and i don't believe in government um, they've tried to dismiss it for a variety of other reasons, but it's generally age-based, race-based, or a number of other things, but never because I'm a woman, unless they're condemning me for not being a feminist. Mm. Um, yeah, feminists, you know, feminists will absolutely ab feminists will absolutely attack you on the basis of your gender if you are not one of them. This is the things oh, that I've, I've said. I'm horrible for not. Ho I'm horrible because I homeschool my children yeah. and I don't have a career outside of my family. And there's articles on the internet that say that you're anti-liberal, whatever that means. It sounds bad. Uh, for I, I don't not, mind being anti-liberal <laughs> for not sending your kids to uh, for, to government school. The idea is, is and, and I mean, I've read the articles. I've read two of them now, and basically what their premise is is that look, your kids will be smart anyway. What difference does it make? Just send them to the government school with all the dum dums. And they'll bring the uh, the whole, you know, it'll cause uh, all the the tide will rise and all the ships will go up. My kids will never step foot in a government indoctrination yeah. camp. Same but, here. Uh, you know, Chris was saying before about how we're inherently not equal, and that's just so incredibly true. And I've said that my entire life. 
Um, to deny that there's inherent differences is absolutely intellectually dishonest. And honestly, I say it all the time. My husband's a sailor. He's at sea eight months out of the year. There's times I have to fix shit. I don't particularly want to fix. I'm not mechanically inclined. He is. There have been so many times I've been at night following his step-by-step instructions saying, fucking... Whoa! I gotta let you go. Sorry sorry. about that, Nicolette. (laughs) Appreciate it. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You, you save that mess for some garbage podcast, will you? <laughs> you can't say the naughty words on the radio, <laughs> Colette. But you're not banned forever or anything. You can call back uh, tomorrow. Just uh, That's how we do it here on Free Talk Live. Let's go to Brock calling in on Skype. Let's see how it sounds. Brock, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you doing? Good. I'm having some problems, Brock. I don't know. Maybe you could tell me I've got this like rash. And go yeah, ahead, Brock. Yeah, well, I, I want some more details on that. What are we talking about? Where is <laughs> no. this located? Continue, Please, dear God, just don't ask thoughts. the man what how he's okay. doing. Uh, first topic here. I'd like to talk about the New Hampshire legislators. My understanding is that they're not paid much, if anything. Hundred bucks not, a year. Yeah, I really disagree with that. I think that that tends to uh, restrict the ability to serve in the legislature to either people that are retired, uh, people that are very wealthy, or those that just have really extreme beliefs and are willing to sacrifice their lives to that. You know, if you've got debt, if you need to provide for your kids, I think that's a really difficult proposition, and I'm not certain that's very wise. Well, I don't know. Um, I have, you know, there's there's people that have different arguments on either side, but one thing I can say is, is there's 49 states where they provide a living wage for their legislators, um, and also there's we have significantly more legislature legislators in New Hampshire than they do in other states. There's 400 and I think 26 of them, including the senators. Um, so it's it'd be a much larger portion of the state budget. To to give them a living wage. But 49 states give a living wage, and that those states' legislators are populated by lawyers. They have a lawyer industrial complex in the creation of laws, and as far as I'm concerned, that uh, lawyers, these are bad lawyers because otherwise they'd be out serving people. Um, it's rent-seeking behavior, and they're just padding their pockets and writing laws to benefit themselves. Well put. I don't uh, I don't think that paying politicians a whole lot of money seems to be doing a great deal of good in the world, frankly, yeah. as I look around. I don't think it's seems, a solution to anything, Brock. You know, I just don't value their service that much. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you guys are coming from, but simultaneously, don't you think that you're more likely to get people who are going to move into the legislature for the purpose of lining their pockets at that point, instead of being able to just take the money they get, uh, you know, per diem or per year, and live on that. Instead, they're going to be looking for ways, uh, you know, for an exit strategy, let's say. No, I don't believe that for a second. I think that humans are always going to look for more money, so they're always going to look to line their pockets. Secondarily, that's clearly not the case in New Hampshire, since most of the uh, politicians are quite old and not looking forward to the payoff (laughs) um, in the future, so they're not, they're, they're not in it for the money, from what we can tell. Also, New Hampshire is unique in among states, and this was passed by legislators, that they have to wear this kind of big, ugly red tag. Uh, would lobbyists have to wear big, ugly red tags when they're running around? So I, I hear your arguments. They just don't seem to have panned out. Yeah, the—, the um I lost it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. Um, let's put that aside for a second then. I just wanted to bring up quickly as well the Stanford experiment and the Milgram experiment. That came yep. up, I think, last week. And I, I know Ian was especially harping on those and saying that they show sort of the you know evil inherent in man or that sort of thing, or at least shows how people are willing to submit to authority. They certainly and do I'm that. Not, I, I'm not sure that it does, actually. So for the Stanford experiment, I think what it really shows you is that people like to play characters they've seen on TV. Uh, in that case, you know, you've got students as prisoners, you've got students as guards. Everyone realized it was a fake exercise. So what do people do in that case? There aren't real incentives there. No one's going to get sued if something goes awry. You're not going to have to serve in that prison for 10 years. You're not going to be serving out a sentence for 10 years. So as a result, people turn into, uh, you know, characters they've seen on TV. They turn mean because they've seen the mean cop or the mean prison warden on TV. So I don't really think that was how – I don't think that's predictive of how people really act. Okay. Um, I, I don't argue the Stanford prison experiment very often because I don't think it's as uh, as telling as the Milgram experiments. Uh, in the okay. Milgram experiment, you had uh, somebody who was brought in. Uh, th- this is the only person who didn't know what was going on. Somebody was brought in to push a button when they were told by a person in a lab coat. Um, actually, there's several different um, inst- types of people, but uh, basically the person in a lab coat would tell them to push a button to punish uh, somebody on the other side of the wall, and some of them would push the button to the point that they killed killed the allegedly killed the alleged uh, uh, patient on the other side just because they were told to. That, I think, is far more telling. 
Now, I, I actually disagree with that one as well. Okay. So think of it from this context. If, um, let's say I was a doctor, I'm on the street, and you happen to come along, and you see someone on the ground that I'm assisting, and I say, please, uh, you know, uh, Mark, you need to help me. Give this man a 250 milligram dose of morphine. Would you do that? Uh, if the doctor told me to? Yes. Um, why doesn't the doctor give it to him? He's currently uh, doing the chest palpitations. Fine. Then I'll okay, absolutely yeah. do it. That's a lethal dose. Okay, now, but that's a thing you? where you don't know. In the Milgram experiment, this guy's screaming on the other side of the wall, help, stop, don't do this to me. It's a right. little bit yep. different than a guy who's unconscious who gives it, a shot. It wasn't that I just gave a shot to somebody you know, told by a doctor. I mean, this is it wasn't I just killed somebody accidentally. They knew what they were doing every step of the way. But it was voluntary. And, and, and the, the doctor was standing there and could have pushed the button just as easily. But it was voluntary, and that's the key, I think. People thought that they were doing something helpful. Medicine can sometimes be painful. Yeah, I I think that we're talking about apples and oranges in your two scenarios here. Brock, I do appreciate the ideas, though, and um, encourage you to call in the future. 855-453. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used, and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. That's weusecoins.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, February 19th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.71 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,217 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $237. Antiwar.com reports, Pentagon officials updated the press on the vetting process for training the new Syrian rebel faction that they're planning to create, saying they've identified about 1,200 fighters for it. That seems well short of the previous plans, as the Pentagon had originally said they were planning to train some 5,000 fighters within the next year. There just don't seem to be that many around. It's also well short of what former U.S. Ambassador to Syria Robert Ford, once an outspoken supporter of the program, had envisioned. He's now very critical of the plan and says too many of the moderate rebels are willing to work with al-Qaeda. Ford says the new rebel faction is going to be too small to be relevant, saying that even if they get 10,000 new fighters a year, it wasn't clear they'd be able to accomplish anything. The Pentagon, by contrast, seems like they're going to be lucky to get much more than 10% of that number. 
ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, wire transfer, or cash deposit. Get started at expressCoin.fppradio.com. UPI reports Alabama Governor Robert Bentley extended an apology to the government of India, its U.S.-based citizens, and Shuri Shpa Patel, the 57-year-old man who sustained severe neck injuries earlier this month after a police officer threw him to the ground during a confrontation. Madison police received a tip from a resident who told them a man had been walking around the neighborhood looking suspicious. When three officers arrived, they encountered a language barrier because Patel does not speak English. English. One of the patrol cars was equipped with a dashboard camera and captured the entire incident on video. In the video, Patel can be seen talking with the officers on a sidewalk. Moments later, one of the officers threw him to the ground. Patel sustained a serious neck injury and required surgery to fuse some of his vertebrae. He was also left partially paralyzed without feeling in one of his legs and upper extremities. On the dashboard camera video, the officers are seen lifting Patel off the ground. Because he is unable to walk under his own power, the video shows his legs sagging and dragging across the ground as the officers try to get him to walk. Governor Bentley addressed an apology letter to India's general counsel, the Indian natives who live in Alabama, and the Patel family. Chief Larry Muncie of the Madison Police Department said last week that Officer Eric Parker's actions did not meet the high standards and expectations of the Madison City Police Department. Muncie recommended that Parker be fired and that he face an assault charge. Bentley's statement added, I wish to assure the government of India that we will see that justice is done. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports opponents of Colorado's cannabis legalization are expected to file a federal lawsuit on Thursday that will seek to shut down the state's new industry and which they say will accuse participants of violating racketeering laws. The Safe Streets Alliance said its lawsuit will allege that state and local officials in Colorado are violating federal law by promoting the commercialization of cannabis. In an online statement, the group said, Safe Streets is asking the federal courts to order Colorado officials to comply with federal law and stop issuing state licenses to deal illegal drugs. The group called for testimony from individuals who feel that they, their relatives, property, or businesses have been hurt by the cannabis industry and said federal racketeering laws give plaintiffs injured by a commercial drug conspiracy the right to an injunction, treble damages, and attorney's fees. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Hollywood's biggest stars are rallying for a good cause this week with the Save Our Children campaign. Celebs like Jessica Simpson, Brad Pitt, and Gwyneth Paltrow headlined a charity event to help their suffering kids who desperately need a chance to live a normal life. Angelina Jolie talked to Starfix about the charity, saying, quote, You don't have to be a mother to want to help my children, many of whom are not getting a proper education. If you look at the numbers, one in five of my children will struggle with drug problems. Joining us now is a representative from the charity, Julie Harrison. Julie, it was such a great cause. Absolutely. We're talking about children who don't have any positive role models. They're born into a life they didn't ask for. And if the state's not going to step up and help these kids, it's time someone did something. Here's a quote from Victoria Beckham, and I found this powerful. It breaks my heart to think about these kids living somewhere in my house with no hope for a happy future. Who knows if they even have food to eat? Julie, according to your group's website, a staggering number of Star's children are being exploited growing up without parents. Right. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE to call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. 
That's right. Ian is, uh, it's his night off. So you got us. 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. We have been talking about uh, all kinds of stuff this evening. Uh, engagement rings, uh, manliness, uh, feminism, uh, all these topics have kind of weaved into one thing. But you can call in and talk about whatever you want here on Free Talk Live. Let's And Jimmy's going to do just that. Jimmy from California, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, Cantwell, where exactly is the rash? Oh, it's uh, it's. I, I don't know if I could say it on the radio. Go ahead with your thoughts. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I mean, how you do yawn otherwise? Everything, everything going okay? Oh God, I've got. Uh, you see know, what you've I, done. I've got can't well, problems you see, in my love life. You I've made got a money big deal. Problems. I could just. I can start. The, I could go down the list of you know what's wrong with me. You're but a that's, seething evil drunk. <laughs> yep, that's right. I'm. Uh, I'm just I find a terrible thing to say, and I'll just fall right into that category. What's up, man? Yeah, it's still only Thursday, too. Anyways, right. um, so, yeah, what I was thinking was, is, um, all right, so, like, I've been seeing these memes a lot about, um, like, the Koch brothers and Keystone Pipeline. Yeah. Usually out of some, you know, like, left-wing organization or whatever, like, complaining about how, oh, they could make $100 billion off the Keystone XL Pipeline. And Who's they? It's just funny because, like. Brothers. The Koch brothers? Well, it, okay. Was, yeah, the Koch brothers. That's what they're saying. Right? Okay. And, like, and. So um, I was trying to think of this, like, because I was talking with a conservative friend of mine, and I was like, yeah, I mean, it seems kind of like if you were a libertarian, you'd want to be sort of against the government using force to, like, kick people off their land so that they could build a pipeline. Like, wouldn't it need to be between whoever was funding the pipeline and the people that they're going to buy the pipeline or buy the land to build the pipeline from? Yeah, I haven't participated much in the conversation over the Keystone Pipeline because that has largely become an an issue. It's a political football. It's a political football between environmentalists who are just like anti-energy, and that's just irritating because these people have no regard for private property, obviously. Well, currently they're moving this oil along by train, and uh, that costs a lot more money in energy and is uh, you know not nearly as effective as a pipeline. Right. And by the way, uh, it's my understanding that Warren Buffett owns uh, some interest in that rail company that uh, moves the the oil around, or at least that's an accusation that's been made. So there's a rich guy on either side of this, uh, this scenario. So As, hey, you, is so often the case. You grab your rich guy and dangle him in front of me. I'll grab my rich guy and dangle him in front. We can just watch the hate of rich people uh, ensue. Yeah, the 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 debate over this subject in the in the mainstream news, I don't think, has been terribly productive because on the other side of your environmentalist anti-energy people, you have basically uh, the. You know, Republicans who are like, yeah, this is one of those times that the government should go and take private property. Right, but that's my issue and- on this is is that nobody's talking about the right things to talk about here. Yeah. Everybody's uh, talking about, you know, they're, they're talking around it. If you're taking someone's property, uh, you know, from them to build your pipeline, you're a thief. Yeah, you're not talking about free markets, my <laughs> Republican friends. You're talking about basically eminent domaining things and running pipelines through places. This is where people live, and they have no more right to do that than the left has to stop us from buying energy. Right, and even if you give them money for their land, I mean, okay, I'm going to go around with a gun, and I'm going to uh, take a man's pants and throw him 20 bucks for it, because that's what I think that pants are go- used pants are going for, and uh, just leave him there on the street pantsless, having given him the money that I wanted, I felt like uh, he deserved. I mean, that's, that's one of the... still robbery. Yeah, that's one of the, the narratives that's gone on about the Michael Brown thing in Ferguson, that he basically, you know, we're saying, he's a, I've said, I've called the guy a strong arm robber, and people have said, oh, he, he threw money at the guy after he took the stuff by force, and I'm like, you don't get to do things that way, folks. It's not how trade works. Jimmy? Yeah, well, and it, it's crazy to me because, like, you know, people be like, oh, are you for or against the pipeline? And I'm like, I don't care. It's none of my business. Like, I, it's, it's not my business whether those people who are going to sell or rent their land to that company want to do business with them. And, like, you know, it's like it shouldn't be a political issue at all. It shouldn't be anything. It should be a contract between, you know, two interested parties. 
That's yeah, it. if the Koch brothers want to go up and buy every piece of land between, uh, you know, uh, uh, along that path between Canada and Mexico, I mean, you know, or God wherever the Keystone Pipeline is going, well, let them have at it. It's and not- they could do it, th- too. If, if you could, I mean, you know, you can run this several different ways. Uh, it doesn't have to be right the way that they've drawn it or whatever. If you can, you know, ask people, because that's what you need to do is you need to put bidders against each other. The, the next door neighbors being told, hey, we'll buy your property for a hundred thousand um and they say no well you know, you offer it to the next door neighbor and maybe they'll take it and if not you can between the two of them you can find because that's what you have to do you have to have a bidding war this is auction theory right and this has kind of been the thing you know with the Koch brothers these guys have been you know pitched around as sort of like libertarians but this is always the thing is that they get into the well i need to, for my political contributions to pay off at some point right and they want legislation in their business interests and that was Part of the problem that Murray Rothbard had with him at the beginnings of the Libertarian Party is this has been going on since the 70s, and it continues on today as they are, what, the number one or number two contributors to the Republican Party politically. It's uh, they're, they, they wield a lot of political influence, and they'll say, hey, do this thing that'll make us a bunch of money and call it free markets. Yeah, that's really one of the difficulties of, uh, of implementation of the ideas of liberty is, is because you can implement – half of the ideas of liberty to the right and benefit the right very wealthy people and really ruin the world uh, you, you, yeah. could, you could implement the other half and really ruin the world you kind of have to you know which ones you have to logic out which ones you're going to implement at a given time and politics doesn't really work that way i say burn it all down Jimmy? Well, I love what you were when you had Walter Block on the other day on some garbage, and uh, he was talking about uh, the libertarian infighting and how like that's been going on forever. And like, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm with you on that. Where it, I think it's a good thing. I think it's positive to have like some drama and, and ridiculousness going on because you know it draws attention to what's going on. And I think like you know um, that's how you really suss out you know truth. That's how you figure out what is you know what it what being free really means is being able to like argue with people and. You know, and if that leads to some, you know, personal BS or whatever, then that's how it goes. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But so yeah, be it. If whole, nothing like, else, it makes for good entertainment in my book. Thanks for the exactly. call, Jimmy. Like, well, I wouldn't even watch half the time if it, was, if it wasn't entertaining. Like, Thank I mean, you, I sir. Want to be Appreciate it. <laughs> Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's entertaining. Hang on up on folks. <laughs> on Free Talk Live. <laughs> Call in and talk about what you want. 855-450-3733. Let's go to Peter calling in from... West Virginia. Peter, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, hey, uh, is it Daryl, Ian, and Mark tonight? It is just uh, Mark and Cantwell. Okay, awesome. Cantwell. You've been, Cantwell is one of my big, uh, I, I don't know, I, I follow the show, you know, the YouTube stuff. Awesome. I Thanks, buddy. Occasionally. Yep. Yeah, actually, I get the links to the YouTube from Facebook, uh, so that's helpful. So I can kind of see when you when you put stuff on there. But anyway, I'm calling in about um, agorism, altcoin, and Bitcoin, basically, and how basically you're gonna have like to define the these things uh, for folks. So agorism is the idea that you can bring around the dissolution of the idea of the state through non-political means. Um, Bitcoins are is that about right? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, close enough, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say that agorism generally is just doing business without the permission of the state and not perhaps not paying yeah. taxes and that sort of thing. But, but the idea being the, – the, the term was coined, I believe, by William Konkin in right. the New Libertarian Manifesto where he says that in so doing, you will do it away with the state. Well, he's obviously yeah, mistaken I mean, in that. Two-thirds of the, uh, of the transactions on the planet are done without state permission, so yeah. that didn't work out. It doesn't seem to be panning out yeah, very I, well. Yeah, I agree that if, if your goal is to end the state, then agorism Agorism alone is not going to be sufficient. Uh, and I closer to Cantwell, I would say agorism is doing business outside of government, uh, however you might define that. Fine. Um, All right. We can, we, can, we can alter the term. I think you have to be doing agorism for the purpose of uh, dissolving the state. But fine. Um, if, um, if we, can, we can do it that way. Um, we can talk about it in that matter. We'll, as long as we have our terms defined, we can still communicate. So please hold, hold the line if you would, Peter. 855-450-3733. 855 free or LRN.FM on Skype. Free Talk Live.
shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. Yeah! Yeah! This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Frustrated with his increased workload and a litany of interpersonal problems, CLG Software Project Manager William Garston brought a list of grievances Thursday to his supervisor Todd Watkins, an utterly powerless office functionary with no actual ability to resolve any problems. Oh no, 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 I'm really, I'm really glad that you're bringing this to me, this is great. The 15 minute interaction, which was taken seriously by both parties, involved Garston laying out a series of work related issues he's had recently, absolutely none of which Watkins has even the slightest authority to address. Again, I'm sorry to be bothering you with all this stuff, Todd. I, I just, I've reached a point hey, where no, I was Will, not under the... This is important. We're going to sort all this out. Sources added that throughout the conversation, Watkins continually nodded his head and repeatedly assured Garston that his problems would be considered a top priority, despite the fact that he lacked the necessary clout to foster any change whatsoever within the company. This is the Onion News Network. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE or lrn.fm on Skype. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. We are giving away three $50 gift certificates to corporate sellout clothing. It's mainly a T-shirt uh, manufacturer, and they've got some pretty cool stuff. You just fill out the survey. Um, we've got a survey, and I've put it together, and I'm looking for people to, to fill it out to sort of you know figure out what our listeners are like and what they like about Free Talk Live and what they don't. You just go to demo 
www.freetalklive.com. It's demo, short for demographics. And you just fill out the survey. survey. Make sure you put uh, your email in there. It's an optional. You don't have to. But if you want to win the contest, I kind of need to know who you are. Otherwise, you're just an anonymous person filling out my survey. And for that... I say thank you. <laughs> Demo.freetalklive.com. I'm going to do the drawing on March the 1st, noon Eastern. My plan is is just to get the list of email addresses I have and uh, pull get up a random number generator on the Internet. Yeah, I don't want to talk about um, the, the fact that it's not actually random with uh, math whizzes. But um, a random number generator and just pull out a random number, and that's how that's, that's that'll be the winner. It's random enough for me. It's random enough for me. As long as it's not me picking, right? It's like the equivalent of me having a four-year-old pick a number between one and a thousand. It's probably more effective. You know, one thing it, it seems unlikely that you wouldn't find from one of those random number generators is like sort of it coming up with the number one or a single digit number or something very close. It always seems to sort of be closer to the middle, but maybe that's just my experience. International listeners may win, but you'll likely have to cover shipping costs uh, for the T-shirts. And filling out this survey, you'll, ent- you'll enter all future uh, contests that are centered around the survey. Don't fill it out more than one time. You're email address is already in my list and i'll make sure that uh, that's the case it's demo.freetalklive.com when people are uh, filling out the form saying what they like and don't like how many of them have told you to fire me so far one that i've seen just but, the one yeah i've just seen one for firing you and one that uh put kate well on five days a week oh, so there nice. you go so um either side you're both loved and hated back to peter talking about agorism bitcoin and litecoin peter you're back on free talk live hey thanks guys again um so basically, um, yeah, so agorism, I was saying it's, it's extremely important. Um, like the Ross Ulbricht case, I think he's a huge hero, and what he did took a lot of sacrifice. Um, the amount of money that he would have gained, you know, without government intervention, I would say is relatively minimal compared to his contribution to society, to, uh, to the progress of, you know, uh, away from statism, you know, anti-statism, I guess you could call it. What and, you're saying uh, is is that uh, Russ Albrecht, uh, you know, made the drug trade safer by putting it online. Is that the idea? Uh, well, that's one of the many aspects, but um, but yes, that's that's a key aspect. He uh, essentially put himself out front in mediating people's transactions that uh, help transactions go much more smoothly. Whether it was from uh, you know all all the different forms of safety, um, efficiency. And the fact that he did it all without even supporting, you know, the government, which hopefully most of us can agree is a really horrible thing to contribute any kind of resources to. It's also horrible and to I spend the rest of your life in prison. Exactly. Well, that's beyond his control. I mean, the we've seen people get executed for less, uh, for next to nothing by the government. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, so anyway, but moving on to Bitcoin, I think um, Bitcoin and altcoins are really the way that that we're going to advance as free people. And I think it, it appears that the government is just really uh, taking a hostile approach to it uh, about as much as they can um, they can get away with, you know, as much as the... Uh, the I'm surprised at how, uh, the, how, how they're... How- sort of friendly they're being towards bitcoin yeah. um we were just at a, at a hearing about uh the house of the house of representatives here in new hampshire is entertaining accepting bitcoin in payment of taxes but of course we are a a pretty uh unique place i think yeah definitely i mean you look at new york uh well the federal government there's not really much they can do if they're going to continue trying to steal be- people's bitcoins in-, in order to resell them on the marketplace uh turning them into an illegal commodity like drugs would then only allow them to, to get the, the cash uh, half of the transaction like they do with drugs. Um, and there's not really as much of that centralized in, in um, altcoins and Bitcoin. Yeah. I suppose. I mean, if, if you think that they're uh, make it, keeping Bitcoin legal enough so that they can sell it and make money, unlike uh, cocaine, which they can't really sell the cocaine to somebody and make sure the money they off can. of it. <laughs> they may do that. Wouldn't it be the first time? <laughs> yeah, they, there's definitely some instances of that. Um, but yeah, that, that's. I, I would say there, there is some uh, motivation for them to keep it legal enough that they can resell the confiscated uh, Bitcoins. Uh, but I really think altcoins are the future. Bitcoin has a couple of negatives that I think are being solved by altcoins. Which There's altcoins? In particular, the, uh, 10K coin, I think, is, is a very promising um, altcoin. It's pure proof of stake. There was, I think, a one- or two-week um, mining period, essentially, so people could 
uh, mine it. It was open to the public. Anyone could run the program um, and mine it for about two weeks. I forget exactly which algorithm it used. Um, so it was fairly... So NXT is stake. also proof of stake, right? Uh, yes, but uh, I, they, I'm not really sure exactly how NXT works, but um, the way that 10K coin works, essentially it's it's a 10,000% uh, interest per year, which really, and, and it's the, you can go up to like two weeks without staking and still get the same return. So it really incentivizes people staying connected to the network, whereas with Bitcoin or NXT or the others, as far as I understand, there's not as much um, incentive to really stay connected. I don't know what the percent, the stake percentage is, but you know when your stake percentage is 10,000% per year, you're going to keep your stake connected to the network and help maintain the transaction. So I think that adds uh, an amount of robustness. Sounds like a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Uh, possibly, yeah. I mean, so so I mean, really, it just distinguishes it into either you um, continually stake your coins or you don't stake them, and you're going to lose pretty quick in in the value. But with the two week period, I think that that's a, a pretty fair. Well, uh, a lot of people of have bet on a lot of altcoins up to this point, and so far, it's difficult to find the altcoin that really. Uh, you know, has sprung into the, the only own. things that I've seen that that seem to show uh, promise. I mean, Litecoin is basically just a Bitcoin ripoff. Yeah. They basically added L it's not to worth, their, you know, not worth talking about. But at the same time, it has gained a certain amount of acceptance. I mean, it is passed around pretty frequently and people are accepting it for payment. Uh, Dark coin. I also think uh, I don't know the exact mechanism of it, but it does seem uh, to be gaining a, a lot of interest. But some of the, you know, all these other things. I mean, somebody sent me two hundred Doge coin the other day. I was like, I think it's nothing. That's yeah, like, a and I was penny. like, this is pennies. And I was like, all right, thanks a lot. I appreciate. Like, I got all excited, right? Because they have like the Twitter tip bot thing. And they're like, yeah, send Chris Cantwell, uh, send vote for Cantwell, uh, 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 two hundred Doge coin. And I was like, whoa, two hundred Doge coin. And then I checked the exchange rate, and I was like, why did you even bother? <laughs> By the way, you can go get your cryptocurrencies, including altcoins at expresscoin.com. Expresscoin.com is the, uh, both for folks both in the U.S. And, and Canada. You can buy with money order or check. They're actually expanding the ways that you can buy in the near future. And shameless, from, Mark. Shameless. You can do it from your smartphone with the app at expresscoin.com. Use coupon code FTL and buy less than $40 go worth ahead. and get it for no fee at all. Go right ahead, Peter. Just one last thing. I wanted to, you know, basically give a shout out to uh, Ross Ulbricht. No I mean, I was recently uh, answering a get to know you kind of interview, and I was like, who, who would you like to spend a dinner with? Who would you like to have dinner with? That, that's the guy that I would like to have. He'd love with. to have dinner with you, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Peter. 855 450 free. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Get updates on your favorite GCN shows and hosts. Go to GCNlive.com and click on the banner in the upper left corner. Just for signing up, you're automatically entered for monthly giveaways. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about whatever you want. As a matter of fact, you can call in on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. That's as in Liberty Radio Network. Our, you know, it's kind of our side project, uh, Free Talk Live. We we really wanted our, our to sort of create a place where people could, uh, you know, have their liberty-oriented shows. And we've got some really good ones over there besides Free Talk Live. So if you think we're kind of, uh, you know, bad at what we do or whatever, no problem. We got something better for you. Go to lrn.fm. So anyway, it's Mark with you. And Cantwell from Chris Cant- ChristopherCantwell.com. There you go. Blog plugs, Mark. That's right. We got to do if blog plugs. If you don't plugs. give me blog plugs, you're going to have to start paying me. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's go to Marcel calling in from Long Island, New York, listening on lrn.fm. Marcel, what's on your mind? Um, you guys can hear me, yeah? yeah? Yeah, gotcha. All right, quick question just before I do this. What exactly is your swearing policy here? What can I not say? We are okay. on FCC airwaves, buddy. We cannot curse. The the seven dirty words, you certainly can't say those. All right, and then the second question. Do you guys, are you guys familiar generally with what Gamergate is? Like, have you heard that before? Yeah, I've heard of it, certainly. So it's- here's what was, uh, see, my original understanding of it was, and somebody actually called into my show the other day and explained to me that it was a little bit different. I thought it was that it was just feminists complaining that women were not, like, treated well in the gaming environment. And then uh, someone called into uh, but it's Dalek. Really about- Dalek called into it my show. about corruption and became that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said it. It was originally about corruption in journalism, and then feminists derailed it into right. We apparently, are a, apparently, some uh, someone got uh, basically exchanged some sexual sexual favors for some positive reviews or something like that. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Right? Um, they had sex with some journalists and got some positive reviews. How's that? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much accurate. So this was what I have to say was kind of related to what we were saying way at the beginning of the show about feminism, but. By far the greatest illustration of how, like, almost like a game of telephone, like, this is massive derailment of the topic 
leads into mainstream culture is the most recent episode of Law and Order. I don't know if you've seen it, but it basically says that gamers are basically ISIS. Like these guys are upset that there's a female game developer, and so they kidnap her from her home, and they do like the ISIS video where they got four guys and all dressed in black with a mask, and they got the flag in the background. They're like, no, I, I can't say exactly what they said, but they're like, women will die. No women in gaming. And I, I saw it. I only found out about it because all of my friends were just laughing a lot at it. And this was a recent it. episode of Law and Order, you're saying? The most recent one. I think it was either last week or the week before. Oh, I might have to go find that. That sounds like fun. You, you have to see it because it's the perfect demonstration of how, like, if you just keep lying, people will believe it. But then once you see these lies, like, shown, like, embodied, like, this is what you were literally describing. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I'm only putting what you said onto the big screen. Like, so you said that these people are, like, making death threats and rape threats. Like, okay, but here's what that looks like. Here's what you have described. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's and it's amazing how badly that got derailed that even me, I mean, look, I subscribe still, even though they kicked me off as a writer, I'm still subscribed to A Voice for Men. And like, I never bothered to look at it. Like, I got emails about this subject and I'm just like, eh, gaming, I don't even care. I never even looked at it. I just assumed that it was feminists complaining about the uh, about uh, gender discrimination in the gaming speak. Uh, but you know, and then somebody explained it to me, and I was like, wow, they really managed to change that headline. Thanks for the call, Marcel. Appreciate it. 855-450. Free. Let's go to Straight Razor. Calling in from Texas. Straight Razor, you're on hey, Free Talk Live. Hey. So, I was calling in to talk about how another way that um, the feminism movement is really affecting everyone as far as hitting their pockets within the state. Um, okay. As an enforcer myself, what I've seen happen is uh, a lot of these departments, and that's kind of, you know, your fire and uh, police are being strong-armed into hiring women. Now, Absolutely. The problem with that is obviously men and women are completely different physiologically. So yeah, I don't think anybody can argue with that. I have met some pretty strong firefighter gals, though. Absolutely. There's always an exception to the rule, and I think that if they can meet the standards that are there, then they should certainly be allowed to uh, to apply for that position. The problem comes in is that they change the regulations to fit a woman regulation and a man regulation, the yeah. women's regulation being lesser. Yeah, there is. So, when it comes to sort well, of what we, weight they have to carry um, during the, you know, the tryouts and stuff like that, there's, there's some differences. Yep. Exactly. So... Well, I'm actually, I'm actually going to say that I'm sort of glad that they did that because the the alternative, unfortunately, would be to lower the standards for men, right? And that that has happened in other environments where they just say, well, we'll just keep lowering the standards until this uh, until this demographic fits into those standards. And I can say, um, when it comes to a volunteer department. I'll take whoever shows up on scene. It doesn't matter to me what their gender is. We can find a role for them. Um, I don't care what their age is. We've got we got men in their 60s and and I think topping out near 70s uh, who are still on our department and they're very useful uh, from a knowledge standpoint. But yeah, I can see why in a, in a you know if you had a fire department that was half female, then it might be a problem. Well, let's get down to dollars and cents, which is my main problem. We have a uh, lake patrol that basically serves as police and fire and EMT. Okay. Um, you know, they're, they're the first ones to get there if there's a drowning or someone is hurt. So they were basically forced, and luckily this wasn't in my city, they were basically forced to hire um, women whenever their job openings came about. Well, they hired two women, and they were out on patrol, and of course, you know, it's one person, one boat. And um, they got into an altercation with someone who was intoxicated and were, were beaten pretty badly, which is a terrible thing. But the problem now is, is that they've seen, okay, well, they can't physiologically stand up to many of the situations you're put in because you're going to have to drag someone out of the water, drag someone out of a boat, that type of thing. Yeah. So now... Instead of having one officer per boat, if it's a female officer, you then have to assign a male officer oh, to go with God. that officer. Yeah, that's so what, now you what it comes down double. to. Yeah, you're paying double for a service that one officer could have done before. 
Well, and not only that, but if if this is a position where she's not capable of doing her job, if there's a, a risk of a, a violent conflict, if there's any number of different risks uh, that that he's the, the male is now going to be distracted from whatever his duty is by trying to save his female companion. Absolutely. So what we did to counteract this was basically said, listen, um, do not, and this was a hard, hard thing to do, do not assist female officers with normal uh, tasks. Now, obviously, if someone's getting beaten, then we're going to assist them. But as far as, you know, non-life-threatening tasks, like, you know, if we need to relocate, you know, certain pieces of equipment, whatever, uh, lifting, is not to not to assist them any more than we would have assisted a male officer, and that uh, I mean that really a lot of uh, people turned in their resignation or moved over to a different department because yeah. they couldn't handle lifting cables or equipment. Yeah, Good I'm strategy. interested to see how that uh, that would turn out. Thanks for the call, Straight Razor, eight five five four five zero three seven three three. It's eight fifty five four fifty free or LRN dot FM on Skype. Let's go to A.W. calling in from Montana, listening on LRN.FM. A.W.? Howdy, guys. What's, going on, what's on your mind? Hey, well, uh, you know, out here in Montana, uh, it, as it is around the world, we have a chemtrail-like thing going crazy. I mean, the skies, you just see them all day long, zigzagging across, doing all these patterns. and just How can you tell the difference between chemtrails and contrails? Well, it's really easy because you look at them and they're not, they don't. Uh, when was the last time you saw a contrail? Contrail is from an Air Force. No, when was the last time you saw up. one? Uh, I've seen them too. They're out here. We have an Air Force base near us. So there's. there's Hold the line, AW. Shorter. Hold the line. Sure. 855 450 3733. Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me about my job, my kids' education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same 
politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450. Free. Do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Do it. I can't... I can't stress enough uh, how important it is to us because, you know, Free Talk Live, we have a lot of uh, controversial ideas. It can make it difficult for advertisers to, uh, to to take a risk on a show like that. That's why we need you to sort of help spread out the risk. And every time you use shop.freetalklive.com, we get a little bonus. It's an extra click for you. But you can bookmark it and always use that for your Amazon or Walmart shopping. There's a few other retailers there, too. Uh, Newegg among them. Shop.freetalklive.com. Let's go back to A.W. calling in from Montana about chemtrails. A.W.? Yes, sir. So uh, your you claim know- is is that uh, there's there's a bunch of crisscrossing cloudy things uh, above your do you, do, house. Do you, do you not see them in Keene? Uh, no, I uh, almost never do we never have, have contrails here, but um, and, and you've, you you live near an Air Force base, and right. I've heard these complaints in the past. But do you know that um, the jets have changed? Jet engines have changed over the course of the last couple of decades, and that uh, contrails look different than they did when you were a kid. Well, you know, I, I I feel like you're starting to put me into that tinfoil hat wearing. Category. I'm not trying to I do just, that. What I here? I, I know. Look, look, okay. I, I know. It's, it's, let me let me uh, state evidence. unequivocally: the government has sprayed crap from airplanes. There's no doubt yeah. that they have done that, and I don't believe that they would uh, have any problem spraying things secretly from airplanes. I, however, it's believe not just our government, that, though it's all over the world. I believe that most of those things that you're that are being seen are contrails, and they really that the stuff that they're spraying in the sky you're not going to see. No, it's it, it's there's a. I would suggest to you only. I, I've been researching it pretty good. On, I've been on, on the radio the for twelve and years, and people have been calling in all this time about it. So to, sure. please don't think that there's I haven't a, been researching it. A, no, I understand. There's a guy named A.C. Griffith. He's an ex-NSA guy, and he went so on he the says. radio. Yes, well, it's easily research. You can just go, he's on YouTube. You All right. Him. He's dead. He's dead now. Oh well, that's not going to be very he's helpful. Been, he's been suicided, as he said. Well, and then this interview that he talks about, he says these guys that are involved with this program is called Project Cloverleaf, and he said that uh, that's it's uh, for some kind of mapping of some sort uh, in front like. If you if you're on a naval ship and you can't uh, you can do things over the water you and you but you could over land they can't kind of map out things or whatever and this is supposed to be some part of that and I there's so many wild things out there about this thing but this guy AC Griffith man it was. It was I, I give up. Really? Then, then I will go ahead and uh, counter with please check out contrailscience.com because there they sure. answer a lot of common sort of 
uh, questions and misconceptions about uh, what things people claim are chemtrails. Because likely somebody told you those things in the sky were con- chemtrails. You didn't decide that on your own. And uh, so some information is going to be right and some's going to be wrong, especially when you have people that aren't experts uh, talking about these things. But, sure. I, I, you know, just check that out, too. I do appreciate the call, though, AEW. Appreciate it. 855 450 free. It's 855 450 3733. Did you notice how difficult it was for him to answer the question of when was the last time you saw a contrail? Look, I worked when I was in New York working for the, the marketing agency. Okay. They, we were right down the road from MacArthur Airport. And my business partner over there said, Look at all these lines in the sky, man. I mean, when are we going to do something about these chemtrails? And I'm like, We're at the airport. Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> airplanes. Leave lines in the sky, and and he's they like, did when I was a kid too. I remember being on the uh, the the preschool playground uh, in uh, well, I guess it was after school uh, program too at the same place. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly when this was, but this is the 1970s. I can assure you of that. And looking at the, we'd look at the contrails that were left by the airplane. Yeah. Not one of the nursery school teachers suggested that it was the government spraying crap down <laughs> on us at that point. I can assure you. Right. Um, you know, may, if so, then that's been going on for a very long time because I remember w- looking at the chemtrails and then seeing them hours later sort of uh, expanded and gotten big. Jet engines, uh, you know, that's just con- condensation in the sky. Let's go to Troy calling in from Minnesota. Troy, you're on Free Talk Live. What's in your mind? Well, you know, you guys were talking about that Keystone Pipeline, and actually yep. there's another pipeline called the Sandpiper. Sandpiper and Pipeline? Of, okay. Yeah. And actually, it runs across 18 miles of my property. I'm a farmer. And, you know, I go to these forums and stuff where they bring these people in. And I think the bottom, you know, the bottom line is they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, when the pipelines come through and they get done, I mean, I've got two lines running across my property right now. And you'll never even know they're there. And well. They come in there, they make offers, you know, and I mean, you know, I mean, they're not jerks about it. They come to your house, they yep. sit down with you, and they usually, when they're buying your land, you know, the right of way, they offer you usually twice as much as the land is actually worth on market value. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not claiming that that's a problem. Believe time. me, I don't think that's a problem. I think that, that as long as you're willing to sell your land at whatever or the rights to your land at that point, uh, at whatever rate you want to sell it at, then that's cool with me. It's just when the Fine government comes on and does eminent domain. That's the only problem I have. Right. And you know what? The eminent domain, I've run into other farmers, ranchers, you know, that have had issues with that stuff. And... Nine times out of ten, you can work a deal out. If you don't yeah. like it, they'll lose a the line. They'll go around you. You well, know, I mean, they're not going to sit there. Most of the time, you hear people say, well, they're going to condemn my land if I don't sign. That's not necessarily true. But they're going to you know, threaten you, you with it. Yeah, you're going to have to get a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the problem that we were outlining The problem, that we were the problem is, is the government has the power to do this at all. Right. The, the, that we end up in a situation where even if they don't end up following through on it, I mean, when the government goes to someone's house and says, well, we're going to get this one way or another, so would you like some money? You know, that's a problem. I have a serious problem with that. I have no problem with you, uh, you know, you making an agreement with anybody who wants to run something across your land. And that's perfectly fine. And I hope that I hope that people do that voluntarily and bring us a, an abundance of energy, sir. I'm really happy to see that. Thank you for your service, yeah, Troy. Yeah, you guys have a great evening now. I appreciate too, it. Bud. Thanks so much. 855-450 free. It's 855-450-3733. Let's go to John calling in from North Carolina. John, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey guys. Uh just wanted to call in and I was I've been thinking about how um it's a very steep uh path that we have to take to teach the logic of the liberty movement to certain people. So um, you know, like the other caller had said a couple calls back. Um, speaking about agorism, um, not only that, but I think some other things that we could do uh, possibly is to expatriate ourselves from places like the United States or other countries that are losing their freedoms. And um, well, know, like that. I this is a, a long-standing debate in the liberty community, and I've got to say that it's 
yeah, um, there's a lot of disadvantages to what you're suggesting. I'm not, cl- you know, for me, um, I have chosen the Free State Project, so you can believe I'm a partisan when I uh, talk about these things. But I have looked thoroughly into different places uh, around the world. I may or may not move, uh, you know, when I retire, um, you know, out of the United States, depending. But uh, y- y- there's a lot of problems with expatriating. Yeah, um, I just see that, you know, if there's a possibility where you could uh, create a business overseas or something to do to limit how much taxation you're getting, and then instead of teaching, you know, just the logic behind the liberty movement, show people that it's possible that we can work around or we can avoid centralized power. I'm not sure that you can, because the fact of the matter is, is that the power of the United States government does not end at its borders, right? I mean, the the United States, uh, if you go move yourself over to a free and independent place... As if there one exists. Right. I'm not sure that there is is such a thing. And then if there was, or wherever you find that you feel that you're more free than in the United States, well, at some point, the economic hitmen come over, and if they don't get what they want, then the military comes. Where yeah, is this place, John? Um, yeah, you know, uh, just kind of ideas like South America or even it's a pretty uh, big South Asia where it's Korea or, you know, Hong Kong is, is one of the— Well, you know, Hong Kong uh, enjoys a great deal of uh, financial freedom, but they also have a uh, an organized uh, crime issue. Have you looked into this a lot, or is this just a new idea for you? tossing out the idea. Okay. To, uh, um, so let me go ahead problem. and tell you, when you look at uh, the economic uh, freedom charts around the world, you'll find the United States generally somewhere around position 10 to 15. Um, you'll consider yeah. that that's an aggregate of uh, 50 states. So you've got New York State bringing in, uh, coming in at, coming in at last, and you've got New Hampshire coming in at first. And um, so... It's arguable that the Free State Project, where we speak English and we understand the financial issues that you're dealing with and we have uh, all kinds of shopping that you're going to miss immediately when you move, the Free State Project is one of the—New Hampshire is one of the freest places in the world already, and there's a bunch of libertarians working here to make it freer, unlike any place else you go. When the leading antihistamine and Nasacort go nose-to-nose, Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24-hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort Allergy 24-hour. Stops more of what makes you miserable. Uses directed. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19, 2015. 
Gold open today at $1,209, down $6. Silver open at $16.43, down $0.21. Cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $239. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Extreme weather from droughts lasting for weeks and torrential rainstorms robbing the country of vital crops for food to snowstorms of 70 inches plus, stopping cities in their tracks. Supporting your family through these difficult times is what eFoods Direct does. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. Mistrial. That's the outcome in activist Antonio Baylor's appeal trial for his March 13, 2013 arrest in Gonzales, Texas. Baylor, who was court-watching at a friend's trial, was arrested for telling a police officer to go expletive himself. The officer had just escorted him out of the courtroom and told him he would be arrested if he returned. Baylor was eventually found guilty on the charge of disorderly conduct and fined $1 by the jury. He appealed the verdict, and at his trial yesterday, shortly after jury selection, the judge in the case declared a mistrial. The reason? The judge told the jury that the trial was the result of an appeal. A statement which is against a Texas rule for appellate courts, which bars judges from discussing prior proceedings. The new appeal trial is scheduled for March 30th and 31st, over two years after the original arrest. This isn't the only legal matter that Miller is currently facing. He's also standing trial in Austin, Texas on February 23rd for a failure to obey the order of an officer charge he received in association with his cop watch activities. Bueller recognizes just how hard it is to get an even taste of justice. It has become clear to me that in order for people to see justice within the system, they need to have tremendous resources in terms of connections, finances, and time. Thankfully for the activist, his intellect and community has allowed him the resources necessary to fight back. Baylor knows his legal battles and lawsuit will not bring down the police state, but he is hopeful that his efforts will make a difference. Through these cases, we can set precedent and embarrass the police just enough to help protect some people in the future from being abused. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets and boost your returns through leverage. Visit CoinArch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. That's CoinArch.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Over 5,000 workers spread across 11 oil refineries are striking for the 19th day in a row. Negotiations between union and oil company representatives have resumed after a week off. The United Steel Workers Union is demanding safe staffing levels at refineries and chemical plants, as well as an increase in wages. Despite the negotiations and strikes, the companies continue to operate with temporary replacement employees. A growing number of Ohio parents are joining the movement to opt out of Common Core standardized testing for students. Cleveland.com reports several school districts are seeing an increase in parents and teachers who are speaking out against the controversial testing program. Some parents have expressed concerns with the school's focus on Common Core, while others have removed their children from school in an attempt to avoid the new tests. Canadians are uniting in their resistance to a bill aimed at reducing security threats. Bill C-51 would grant new powers to the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, including the right to disrupt or counter-message terror activity in and outside of Canada. Critics say the bill will criminalize free speech, remove privacy protections, and eliminate due process for Canadians. A number of press organizations and political leaders have begun to speak out against the measure in response to public pressure. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Hear from speakers such as Charlie Schramm, Dr. Robert Murphy, Vitalik Buterin, and Catherine Bleich. March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Tickets on sale now at TexasBitcoinConference.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, February 19th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. 
We have a breaking news blast on the tragic situation happening across the country in which more than 40,000 Americans have been trapped in a confessions animal hoarding marathon on Animal Planet for the last 13 hours. The Animal Hoarders Marathon began at 9 this morning as victims were preparing for a full day before hearing the fateful sound of the show's opening credits. Almost instantly, thousands were pinned to their couches by a story of a heavyset homosexual living with his partner, his toothless sister, and 31 chihuahuas. Rescue workers rushed to free as many victims as they could. The rope's secure? Rope's secure. We're going to get you out of here. Just hold on a second, ma'am. Wait, I think the next one is about monkeys. Ready? Ready! Pull! No, no, wait, wait. Can I just see what happens with the feral cat? In other parts of the country, rescue workers enlisted volunteers who had already seen the episodes to spoil them for the victims. Oh yeah, this one. This is about the lady living with the dogs in the trailer. She doesn't even get evicted in the end. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450 free, or you can use Skype. It's uh, username lrn.fm, as in Liberty Radio Network, lrn.fm. It's Mark with you. And Cantwell. Ian's off tonight. And you can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. We had John on in the last uh, little bit of uh, the last segment in the last hour. A lot of lasts there. Um, but John wants to, you know, has the idea of moving for liberty. And this is, I actually maintain a Facebook page called The Move Here Project, where I chronicle from the last four decades the different projects where people have, uh, libertarian types, have decided to move for more liberty in different ways and different places. And I wouldn't call myself the expert, but... I'm constantly on the lookout. Um, I'm certainly more of an expert than the average person you're going to run into. And I want to talk to John a bit more about this. He's, uh, you know, he's trying to figure out where he should move for, for liberty. John, are you there? Yep. Hey, John, guys. Yeah. Um, so real quick, um, first off, I'm a proponent of the Free State Project. So if I sound like, uh, and I believe I'm right on that, and a person who believes they're right is darn difficult to communicate with. So I want to apologize in advance if I sound like I'm not taking your opinion into account, okay? And I am not a proponent of the Free State Project, but I do think that you should move to New Hampshire. <laughs> That's right. Can't well, <laughs> having been kicked out of the Free State Project himself. Yep. Um, and I have nothing wrong with uh, with the Free State Project, I actually think that it's, uh, you know, that's one way to do it is to group together and show that, you know, as a strong group um, of people that aren't trying to centralize power, that you can get something done. Um, my point is just that, you know, instead of trying to teach the logic of, hey, uh, whether it be through morality or through economic means, a way that we could show others is by trying to work around the powers and say, hey, I've done it, let me teach you how to do it, or try to find ways, you know, either if it's, you know, like Bitcoin, agorism, or offshoring yourself so that you remain a permanent traveler and you're not paying taxes in a certain location. Yeah, Something and I like think that that, that is, uh, you can do it. Yeah, like, there's there's ways to be more free by being sort of a permanent traveler. Say, for instance, have your passport in one place, your citizenship in another place, your business in another place, um, you're living in another place, and, and that's the idea. And I think that there's value to it. Um, I just wouldn't call it activism. I would call it, uh, you know, using the system to free yourself as best uh, you can, but I think that, like, for me, it's, it's what's important is this idea, this progress. See, I had a relatively good life in Sarasota, Florida. There was nothing to complain about as far as liberty went. Yeah, I paid taxes, but all in all, I had a pretty good life. But I saw progress in this nation towards uh, socialism. I saw it constantly slipping uh, that uh, the police could get away with anything they wanted, the government apparatus being corrupt, um, and that nothing was going to get better. And I, for me, I couldn't just say, well, I'll pack it in. Why would I pack it in? Things are pretty good where I was. Um, money was good. Uh, life is good. Why would I pack it in? Uh, for me, it was about just sort of depression that these things are happening, and there's nothing I was, I was doing nothing about it. Sure. And, you know, I agree with you on that sentiment. Um, my point being, I think kind of some, something along the lines of what Chris says, that, 
you know, some people are just too stupid to get it or, yeah. uh, you know, there might just be a line. Where That's why we picked a small state. To... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the Free State Project, it, you can go to freestateproject.org and find out more about it. But they're having the Liberty Forum. It's coming up uh, from the 5th to the 8th of March. That's next month. So it's only like three weeks away or something like that. And there's a free ticket in the offing for people like you, John. In the offing? In the offing? Offering? You can't, if you off John and then give somebody a free ticket, that's a terrible thing to say. John, on the radio. you buy a ticket, we'll kill you and give your ticket to somebody. <laughs> no, this is what happens, John. <laughs> There's a free ticket to people who are not in New Hampshire and not uh, Free State Project signers. If you email Ian, our normal uh, you know, first chair host, at ian at freetalklive.com and pledge to attend the Free State Project question session with Carla Mora on Saturday, that's the 7th of uh, March during the 7th, 8th, you'll get a, it's at 12.30 in the afternoon, you'll get a ticket for the entire event, a basic ticket, for free. And this is a really great value. And they're really, the reason is, is that they want people like you, John, People specifically like you. They know that it costs money to get to New Hampshire to, to attend the event, but they want to show you what the progress, the incredible progress that's been made here in New Hampshire with the Free State Project, because you're a person who's willing to move for more freedom. You're just trying to figure out where and why. And I think there's some advantages. Once you start your research, you need to know what it's like in New Hampshire. And I think that the uh, Liberty Forum is a great place to figure that out. What do you think, John? Well, uh, thanks a lot. I will definitely <laughs> take a look into that. All righty. Thanks so much. Appreciate the call. 855-450-FREE. Just free. offered him a free ticket to this convention. He was like, eh, take a look. Well, I, you know, it costs a lot of money. to. I, I don't know what his financial situation is. Um, you know, I'm not going to give him – I'm not going to pay for his pay for his plane ride up. Yeah. Um, so – you know, I mean, even if you get a great deal on Southwest, it's probably 150 bucks one way. That's 300 bucks. You've got to, you know, I mean, it's 300 bucks is 300 bucks. Yeah, and then know? there's hotel and all that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, one of the things about the the Liberty Forum is is that you can kind of bunk with people who have hotel rooms and really split the costs and make it uh, make it worth your while. Yeah. There you go. Let's go to Evan calling in from Georgia. Evan, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, so I was arguing with the socialists recently. How do you know they're and, a socialist? Uh, uh, I I asked her, and she said that she was like full blown command economy. Okay, great. <laughs> not not really, but so uh, I was talking to her but with about um, anarcho capitalism. And she said that... There, that okay, so real quick, uh, for people, you see, this is a nationally syndicated radio program. It's on uh, um, up to 150 stations, and many people don't know what anarcho-capitalism is. Anarcho-capitalism is an extreme form of libertarianism where they took uh, Murray Rothbard, who is a real real genius and a thinker, took the two worst terms in uh, American <laughs> politics, shoved them together, and said, well, this will really attract people. So they took anarchy, which... I, I'm really not for no government, so I'm not an anarchist. Um, and they took capitalism, which uh, can 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 appear to be just the top people in a particular market. Um, you know the, those those players. So I think that they're really bad terms. Why don't we I just like start correcting people's language instead of I don't know what is that all about, Mark? I, I'm an anarcho-capitalist, okay, and I think that that's a wonderful word because I believe in freedom and markets. You have on the top of your website, anarchist, atheist. A hole. Um, you do not mince words, sir. Words are powerful tools, and if you want to convince somebody, you're, you're not. You're 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 preaching you to the choir. You gotta propagandize them a bit. You gotta deceive them and make them think that you're something other than what you are. I just don't use bad terms. Go ahead, Evan. And um, she, so, so she said that because somebody usually takes power. Like so, in school, whenever you divide children up into groups, there's usually one leader. And she said that this would happen within a society. So we'll place a social safety contract with one company essentially using pilots to replace government, but it would probably work, be worse. And in hindsight, I was like, I used an analogy and I thought of it as if it was any other industry. So, so hold on. Um, is Her claim is, is that if uh, you allow companies to take care of protection services, that at some point natural monopolies will occur and that power will um, centralize? Um, not the natural monopolies, but that um, because people, uh, because people always, 
always one person will eventually lead everyone. And uh, Where has that ever happened in human history? One person leading everyone. Well, uh, she talked about those social, um, humans interacting socially. That is an interesting rebuttal. In groups, right? there will certainly be people that uh, that will, you know, be leaders, uh, sort of leaders leading from the front kind of thing. There's no doubt about that. But there will be lots of them. And people will have a choice of which leader they choose to follow. Right. right? Leaders, not... leaders tend not to follow leaders, right? Like, that's another human paradigm. That's, that's interesting. I looked at it from more of an economic point of view. Let's talk about it a bit but, more, Evan. I, I tend, I, I feel like I want to hear a little bit more of what you were saying too. So I don't want to want to walk all over you. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Going to bring him back. It's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free talk live. What do you think? Natural monopolies? Does it happen? I have two cats and two dogs. All four of them are on the Dynavite. This stuff is amazing. The first day that I gave Sweet Pea and Daisy the Dynavite for cats, in fact, I did add a little bit of the liquor chops, and they absolutely loved it. All the vitamins, the minerals, you know, they also enjoyed the num-nums, <laughs> the nub-nubs or whatever they're called, the treats that also came along with it. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. They're just running through the house. They're playing. My Sweet Pea will walk in front of me. She'll stop where she's at, drop and roll onto her back and then expect me to rub her belly. Just like a kitten, Daisy and Poopy have a cat tree in my living room and lately she's been climbing up to the top, jumping up there and then she'll climb back down and then she's right back up again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish they would make a product for us humans to give us the same amount of energy and bunk that Dynavite for cats are given for my, my cats. The phone number is 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. 
You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Cantwell. You can use Skype. It's, our username is lrn.fm. And I want to tell you about the Texas Bitcoin Conference. We're heading out there real soon, uh, March the 28th and 29th in downtown Austin. It's at the Moody Theater. And it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to obviously going to be famous investors and um, economists and, you know, these kind of folks running around. Matter of fact, George Gilder, the guy that created Reaganomics, will be uh, speaking, as well as uh, Sambala Nair, the gentleman who created the blockchain technology for IBM uh, that, called ADEPT. Also, Jason King, David Johnston, Robert Murphy, Vitalik Buterin, Charlie Shrim, and many others are lined up to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Plus, they'll have, I think this is the most exciting thing going on in Bitcoin, is the second million dollar 2.0 Bitcoin hackathon. So, million bucks in the offing for the next big Bitcoin idea. There you go again with the offing. Yeah, it's often offing them. Yeah. TexasBitcoinConference.com. Tickets are $150. With coupon code FTL, you save 25 bucks. That brings it down to 125 25 of that goes to Sean's Outpost, so you're feeding the hungry with it. That's 100 bucks, really, ultimately, to get in and uh, see this great event. We're going to be there again. I'm delighted. TexasBitcoinConference.com to get your tickets and be part of the future. TexasBitcoinConference.com, coupon code FTL. Back to Evan in Georgia. Talking about a conversation he had with an avowed socialist. So, Evan, she was yeah. talking about sort of uh, the marketplace creating monopolies in power kind of naturally, and uh, you had a rebuttal to her. I wanted to hear what it was. Well, um, so it was like uh, replacing protection with, like, any other industry. So, like, with fast food is what I thought of. So it's like McDonald's is, like, the government with protection. So if you try to – so the grocery stores, the grocery stores are really good, and then the McDonald's and the food's kind of crappy. And then if you try to open up, like, another store that sells um, fries and burgers as well, they shoot, like, flashbangs through your windows and stuff like that. And then so um, the AMCAP comes along and says, hey, maybe we can have other fast food restaurants with maybe Taco Bell, and maybe there'll be one that sells tacos and stuff like that. And then she says, well, no, because then Taco Bell would become the new McDonald's, so like flashbang for your windows. And then it seems extremely absurd. Well, you know, I mean, when 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 you're having conversations with folks like that, you're never going to convince somebody who's already thoroughly convinced, right? Um, it's it's very rare. They have to basically get their, uh, you know, go through. They have to convince themselves usually through some articles or um, you know, radio or something like that. Um, so, what I would recommend in that circumstance is asking the question: Is hey, in your perfect society, can I secede? Can I create my own little country where, um, you know, I don't have to follow your rules where you are? Because this is really the this is the ultimate question is how free am I to extricate myself from your society? If I'm not free to leave, I'm a slave. If you're taking some of the fruits of my labor uh, for to do whatever your project is and I can't leave, I'm a slave. Now, here in the United States, you can leave. But you can't take your property with you. And that's really important because the United States claims a monopoly privilege over the use of violence in a given geographic area. They own all the land, ultimately. And that's really the, the issue. So that's what I, I generally ask those folks, Evan. Yeah, um, I'll have to try that next time and next time, or if I ever talk to them. Thanks but, so much. Um, so all right, goodbye. Appreciate it. 855 free That's 855-450-3733. Let's go to Clayton calling in from Oklahoma. Is that right, Clayton? Yeah, that's right. What's on hey, your mind? Hey, listen, I, I want to talk to you guys. I don't know if you've seen the stories about the Oklahoma state rep who uh, introduced a bill into committee this week to eliminate AP classes. Uh, specifically AP history classes. Uh, I've seen reason, it, yeah. Yeah, so his his reason for doing this uh, is 
the belief that the current AP guidelines. This is advanced uh, placement. It's a high school class uh, that gets you college credit. Exactly. Uh, his claim is that the current coursework doesn't uh, adequately display American exceptionalism. Uh, this is the idea of, you know, a country built on values and principles and that it unfairly shines a light on the atrocities of the American government. Sadly, this is a country uh, based on the the idea that a state representative has any control over what gets taught in schools. I mean, how a non-teacher would have any <laughs> anything to do with what is taught in schools is absolutely and patently ridiculous. But this is really ultimately one of the problems with government school is is that the government is going to want to decide what's taught in its schools. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. And this, this kind of blew up in his face uh, on social media, kind of both ends of the spectrum erupted, right? The statists were super angry because they're gutting the education system. And the liberty folks were super angry because a lot of us don't really believe in American exceptionalism to begin with? I think I believe to some extent in American exceptionalism. I don't want to uh, think that we don't. I think there's something special about bringing the discont the malcontents of different countries and tossing them in uh, to work together and that, uh, you know, we sort of had private property such that it is, um, you know, for – the, the whole existence of the 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 colonies and and that sort of thing. So I think there's some special things about the United States. Do you think that still exists today, though, the the American exceptionalism? I think it's been chased right the heck out. I don't think there's anything left of uh, well, very little left of what uh, I don't know the spirit of liberty that the uh, the founding fathers had, or to the extent that that was not just propaganda. I mean, it's a when I look around. This country, I see a bunch of people really upset that their government hasn't taken complete and total control of their lives, and I don't have a great deal of love for my fellow Americans most of the time. Um, I okay. So as much problem as I have with uh, you know the inculcation of socialism and uh, groupthink into American society, I would say that you can have a conversation about human freedom with an American um, in a way. That is different than the conversations you will generally have with people from different areas who are just sort of taught practicalities as far as the management of uh, human livestock. Um, you know, well, that, they all they want to talk about is is practicality. They're never they the, they don't even have a foundation in, in some cases about the ideas of human liberty. So, Mark and Chris, let me ask you each this question then. If if you were the one making the decision to teach American history, where do you think it should land? Do you think it should land more toward the uh, negative, the atrocity, atrocities of the American government? Or do you think it should be more toward the ideals and highlights of human freedom? Well, I, I think it would, should be an accurate account of history, right? So, I mean, I, if you're going to teach somebody history, history should not have an agenda, right? So what period of time am I supposed to be teaching the student about? If I'm teaching the, uh, a student about a time when America was engaged in a great deal of atrocities, then let's go teach them about the atrocities. If I'm teaching them about the spirit that led up to the American Revolution and the ideas behind that, then I would talk about those ideas. I'd give them Murray Rothbard's Conceived in Liberty. Yeah. Do you have anything else, Clayton? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you, fellas. Thanks for the call. 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Sophie Winnick, longtime distributor and user of Longevity products. In the last few years, my family went through a crisis. Everything else in my life, including my business, had to be put on the back burner. Thankfully, life is getting back to normal now. But the one thing I never had to worry about was my business and my monthly commission. I've been a distributor for Longevity for over 17 years, since before it was Longevity. And I've got to say, the most amazing thing about this company is the people. While my family was in crisis, other distributors stepped in and helped my customers simply because that's what longevity people do, even for people they don't know. For me, it has never been about getting rich. It was about a product I could stand behind, a company I could count on, and a monthly commission check that has never not once been late in 17 years. Longevity is truly a business for everyone, even people who have too much to do. I'm Sophie Winnick. I'm just like you. I have a real life, real ups and downs, but I know I will always have longevity. 
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. It's 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. Love to hear from you. Talk about, well, we've been talking about all kinds of different things this evening. Gone from um, diamonds to the Milgram experiments to people moving for the ideas of liberty. Whatever it is that works for you. Chemtrails, feminism. Yep, yep, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can go and get other a, conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> you can go get a. This is not a conspiracy theory. You can get a go get a free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. It's a subscription program. All you do, sign up there. You'll get your first pound free, and it's delicious coffee. It's shade grown. It's one hundred percent organic. It's top one percent grade arabica beans. You'll love it. It's so much better than the stuff you're going to buy at the store, and really a lot less costly than the stuff you'll get at the the chain places. I think better too. I think this is among the best coffee you'll taste in your life. And that's the reason we're going to give you a free pound to try it out at coffee.freetalklive.com. You can cancel the subscription anytime. You don't have to buy a pound to get a pound or anything like that. You just pay for the shipping and you get the pound of coffee. But what we uh, what we do with uh, BuzzBox Coffee is, is that they give us back some of the proceeds so that we can give out microloans through Kiva.org. And these microloans go out to people who have a variety of different sort of unpleasant living situations, whether they want to, 
uh, one guy wanted to to fix his car so that he could get back drive drive his cab again at fifteen hundred bucks or something like that that he needed to do that and uh, some gal was uh, buying cows to be able to you know make more money and a man was fixing uh, appliances so that he could sell them resell them used appliances really it's a great system as a matter of fact we just got paid back some more today and that's the what's really awesome is is we give out these loans then we're able to give the money again to somebody else in a, in a, in a, in a one of these bad circumstances it's coffee.freetalklive.com to help us help others coffee.freetalklive.com let's go to dave in new hampshire dave you're on free talk live yeah, a couple of days ago, you guys had indicated that you were kind of wishing someone would call in with an update on what's going on in Grafton, New Hampshire. Yeah, I think that uh, Grafton is one of the most interesting uh, aspects of the Free State Project. Uh, for me, uh, what Grafton is, is it's a place where a bunch of activists have moved into one relatively small town, and they're almost at a tipping point as far as... Uh, I, I wouldn't call it a government takeover, but having enough people to really be an influence they do have an influence and they've had it for a while i guess they're i would i would estimate they're somewhere between 30 and 40 free staters yeah. in the town and it's only about they're only about 1200 people or i guess it's now 1300 people that live there i don't live there anymore i lived there briefly uh and and i am i guess so i ought to be by now the reigning expert on the first 55 minutes of that infamous meeting since i've been logging the video from it what's the meeting uh, so i had to watch it pretty closely uh, but but the um they, they had a they had a town meeting where the guys dragged it out for like 10 hours is what you're talking about, right? Well, I don't know that 10 hours is particularly long to have a deliberative session for a, for a town. Uh, I think they're considered an SB2 town, and it's, you know, it's supposed to be the entire town voting on pretty detailed stuff, right? You know, it's not the city, it's not the city council or the board of selectmen voting; it's the whole town. On it's, it's almost like pure democracy. It's supposed to be. That's what a uh, town meeting's like. Right. So, and it's like the, the the main phenomena here. There's so many different little things going on and medium-sized things. It's hard to summarize them all. But the main thing that seems to be happening is that the free staters want to go through the budget line by line, and they don't want to be told what they can say while they're speaking before the before the group. The Sounds town, fair, right? I mean, if they've got a budget, town, you should be able. They've got a budget, and it's a town meeting where it's direct democracy. You should be able to go over it line by line, and. I guess you should be able to, I mean, have your opinion on what you want to say at the microphone. Those things sound like reasonable things. Right. And then and some people in the town, and it even looked to me like a majority, were just crapping a pyramid because it might take them 10 hours to steal everybody's money as opposed to six hours to steal everybody's yeah. money, right? The free staters, right. although the free staters are slowing things down. But, um, right, that's the idea so is, is that the free staters are slowing things down. This is their budget that they've come up with, and they're trying to shove down people's throats, and we're all just supposed to say, uh-huh. And that's what I, by the way, um, having participated in plenty of these town meetings, um, uh, I've got to say is that's what it's like. It's just be, it's a study in human group behavior and how people don't want to stick their heads up, and that's what I fa mostly found it's all about. Yeah, like, you know, you could always say, "Hey, well, okay, that's fine. Let's let's all go home right now and just not spend any of this money. That'll work for me." You know, yeah. right? Uh, but but yeah, your 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 analogy of them starting to gain a lot of influence, I would say that could be called a little bit into question by the vote. I think they only got about thirty votes to about. 90 votes, uh, you know, I think so, like there was about, well, maybe not 90, but maybe about 80 votes against um, against going line by line and about 30 votes in, in, in now this favor is a, of it. Now, that's a lot of people showing up for a deliberative session. Um, so you're talking about 120 people in a town of uh, 1,200 showing up for a deliberative sessions. It sounds to me like the, uh, like somebody said, the free staters are going to get us. You got to come out to the deliberative session and send out word. The the redcoats are coming or whatever and uh and got a bunch of people to show up. Is that what happened? I don't know. I'm not sure how large the the uh, groups w were at other meetings. I have been to one either a deliberative session or the thing right before the deliberative session when I lived in Grafton uh and it did seem like it was less well attended than this, this this video that I saw, uh, but again, what I what I attended may not have been the same exact type of meeting. Well, let me uh, um, let me yeah let me pop in here on this real quick. The, if that's the case, and I think it is, then that 
tends to wear out more quickly for the statists than it does for the uh, the free staters. So people who moved for the ideas of liberty are going to be much more dedicated in showing up to these year after year um, and have much more success because they do than people who send up the call for reinforcements because the reinforcements aren't going to come next year. Yeah. And the other issue that I didn't I didn't get to into as much was the the uh, the free speech issue. They, you know, this came up in 2014 where they were like, "Well, you must be courteous. You're required to do this. You're required to do that when you talk." And and then this year they said, "Oh, you're you know a lack of decorum will be treated as a disorderly conduct." You know, like they banned lack of decorum. You know, whatever and, that is. And in 2014, I wouldn't call it an arrest, but they basically removed one of the longtime locals, Brian Fellers who's the center of a lot of, of this activity there, they removed him. I guess they said that he was he was raising too many concerns, you know, which they called interrupting. They Then they charged him and took him to court, I believe, successfully. Um, and anyway, he was, he was there again this year. And this time, I guess he had to leave again, but this time he sort of escorted himself out before they charged him with anything. Um, but they, they just, there's always this back and forth. It's a very tense and acid, you know, environment. There was a cop up there sort of micromanaging everybody here, stand here, stand there, get in line here, go in over there. And he, he didn't do this for a long time, but it was just, he was in uniform and it was just like, I, I didn't feel like, it didn't look to me like the people were in charge, right? The whole, the whole government was seated on its, uh, you know, you know, in its, in its sort of uh, segregated area up at the front, at the front. Yeah. Um, almost like it was a city council meeting or something. Now, I, I don't know if that's normal for for a deliberate discussion for such a small town, uh, but it, you know, it's just a, a lot of there's just there's so much history in Grafton now, and there's so many different things going on. I don't know how to e- even summarize it, but those are the two things that seem to be the big issues at the meeting. Do you think it's looking positive in Grafton, or do you think that uh, you know the activists have just done it the wrong way, and uh, they they sh- that Grafton might be a lost cause? Oh no, it's no lost cause. It's I would say over the long haul, it's pretty. The situation is pretty good. I just I haven't heard, other than these meetings, I haven't heard too much going on in the last two years in terms of people moving there or doing a lot of new things. But again, over the last ten years, there really are a lot. I mean, there's a guy who like bought a church. One of the free staters bought a, a church that was going to be abandoned or whatever, and uh, he turned it into this, this cool peace nick sort of shrine and it's just wild to look at i don't know if you've seen pictures of it oh, I've, seen I've been to church yeah, yeah i've been to john's peaceful uh, assembly church it's an amazing thing and that's just there's just many other things like that going thanks on, for the call but... dave appreciate it 855 450 free 855 450 3733 final segment coming up they say life is about choices so let me introduce you to one of the best choices you can make in life granger choice the Granger Choice product line has just about everything we need to keep this place running. From batteries to V-belts, safety to sump pumps, and with Granger Choice, we can trust that every product is dependable and cost-effective. When it comes to making life choices, here's a great one. Granger Choice. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash choice or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing 
manufacturers. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Free Talk Live. When you call a government bureaucracy, more often than not, the person who you talk to will not know the answer to your question, but they'll tell you they think they know who the person is that has the answer, and they will pass you, pass the buck to that other person, and if they happen to pick up the phone, they'll usually pass on the buck, or you'll leave a voicemail and never hear back from anybody. Right. I mean, I I wasn't being rude as a PSA at all. You Mm -hmm. know, the third person I talked to, she was getting pretty hot under the collar. It's like, you know, what are you being so angry for? I'm just asking regular questions any person would. Well, she's probably upset that she had to pick up her phone and talk to one of the little peons like yeah, you. She's probably annoyed at uh, her underlings who actually gave you her phone number and let you get through to her. Yeah, that's probably the case. She's one, She just wants to play solitaire, and you interrupted her uh, her game, or she just wants to surf <laughs> on the internet, and uh, you, you just ruined her day. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. 855-450-FREE. Might be able to squeeze you here in the final segment. It's Mark with you. And Catwell. From ChristopherCantwell.com. Oh, thank you, Mark. It feels so good to hear you say that. <laughs> do you do mostly uh, blog posts over there? Is it uh, a lot of uh, podcasting from some garbage podcast? I do. At ChristopherCantwell.com, it's mostly written content. I also have a YouTube channel where I release a great number of videos, not the least of which are clips from Free Talk Live. But uh, I do that, and I do some garbage podcast every Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. And tomorrow we're doing a, an episode titled Violent Extremism, and I'm sure it's just going to be all sorts of wonderful. If you enjoy paying taxes, you should listen. 855-450-3733. Let's go to Tim calling in from, I don't know, he's on Skype. I can tell you that much. Tim, you're on Free Talk hey, Live. how's it going? Can you all hear me? Yes. All right, good deal. Hey, um, love the show. I only hear it on Saturday nights on the radio, but I went ahead and added you all online. Well, I'm sure you've been told at this point to uh, call your program directors, whatever your radio station is, and ask them nicely to continue to play more Free Talk Live. Yes, I have, and okay, they're good. very polite. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. But, um, no, I was just calling about um, the idea. I've, um, you know, like I said, I'm a casual listener, and most of what I think is kind of represented in in the show, but... uh one argument that comes up a lot is that, you know, I start speaking of things like this and uh, they start, you know, talking about, you know, that seems utopitarian or, uh, you know, it, you know, these ideas, yeah, they sound good, but they're impractical 
in today's society. And I just wanted to get your all's take on that. So when I am told this, people say, you're just, you're, you're, there's no such thing as utopia, Cantwell. You, you, the world's never going to be perfect. I say, far from it, pal. I'm just trying to try it in one set of problems for another set of problems that doesn't have standing armies and nuclear weapons between me and the solutions <laughs> is sort of how I pitch it to people. I understand that uh, in the absence of the, you know, what's funny about it is, is that people on the one hand tell you that anarchy would just be so awful that it's just be so terrible and then at the same time they tell you that it's a utopian idea it's kind of uh mm -hmm. it's not uncommon for our status brethren to have sort of conflicting ideas is it yeah i think that the biggest problem uh with the ideas of liberty is implementation uh, we can mm -hmm. see that uh, humans are going to solve problems and oftentimes they're going to use violence to solve problems when you have private property you're going to have violence because there's always somebody who's going to want to take it away from somebody else i don't think that that in and of itself is uh the biggest problem i think that the problem is, is sort of people who hate monopolies support the monopoly on violence and that is a you know a really big issue when if you believe that humans are good you don't need the state if you believe humans are bad then the last thing you would want is an organization that has a monopoly privilege in the use of violence in a given landmass because the worst people will be collected there if you believe that people operate by incentives the ideas of liberty are perfect now um how do we get from here to there is often a great question. For instance, on Free Talk Live, we talk about people being free to uh, being being free to move from one landmass to another landmass without having to deal with all kinds of immigration issues. They should be able to work and support their families, which means that I support illegal immigration. But um, I what I don't support is somebody having to pay welfare uh, or you know schooling or hospitalization or whatever for somebody who's come to this country I don't think they should I think that if you want to come here and work for a better life that's awesome but if you want to come here and live off the dole go back um, I'm, we don't have any interest in you so uh, a lot of people will say, well, first we have to control the border, then we can do something about the welfare programs, then we can open the border. Well, I don't know what the proper order is for deal dealing with these things. Burn um, it all down. <laughs> right. I mean, the the I think that you're much more likely to see the federal government implode from uh, overspending than, than anything else. All right. Well, yeah, I just wanted to get Charles' take on that. I definitely I appreciate the show. Um, it's the first time I've heard similar thoughts. We are different than the rest on the media. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Most for the, the call. Media is well, definitely stay Thank tuned you. into LRN.FM, and then you can pick up all of the uh, the other great content that we have for you. There you go. I intend to. Thank you. Thanks for the call, Clayton. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can call in and. Talk to whatever, talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about here. Um, I'm trying to work on the Skype, but I just don't know how to. Uh, well, I don't you know have how to somebody work, trying work to get up. in. What can I tell you? So, anyway, um, let's go to let's see if I can uh, get this guy back on. I kind of dropped him off. <laughs> <laughs> doing some technical stuff here. Yeah, it happens. I when I'm doing some garbage podcast, it gets to be kind of complicated. I don't have like a. A board up. Uh, It'd be nice to have a producer, that wouldn't sort it? Of thing. I have all of the. I've got to do everything as a one man operation and try to keep the show on track and curse people out all at the same time. It's very difficult. We um, had a real problem with. Uh, uh, it, well, not a problem, but we really didn't get too much show prep this evening. Uh, we basically started out on uh, the the diamonds thing and got about a paragraph into that story. And we've and had callers the whole night, wall to wall, call it's, to call. It's a nice, it's a nice feature of a show like this that you can do that sometimes. I mean, I'd say on some garbage podcast, I say, and the more you talk, the less I have to. So please do give us a call. And uh, they really saved us a lot of uh, saved us a lot of trouble tonight. Thank you very much, Free Talk Live audience. I am going to. Well, I was going to go straight to this uh, this call, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, not going to work. Yeah, um, not going to do that. All right. Well, okay. Well, uh, let me see if I can uh, take him now here. Maybe I should just uh, board go ops, read advertisements or something. Board ops, send me Dan um, in Sarasota. Dan, you're on Free Talk Abra Live. Abra. Hey, Dan. Hello, sir. Uh, yes. What's on your mind? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can. I, I got you. What's on your mind? Uh, I, I was telling your uh, 
your uh, uh, the board guy. Out. Tell me. Yeah, um, I'm hearing a lot of uh, radio announcers such as uh, Dennis Miller and others, uh, pretty much saying America is on the way down. We're hopeless. Uh, things look things look bleak. But I just wanted to say I, I still think America, United States, is the greatest country in the world. And we're the based on what? Still the biggest, huh? Based on what? Uh, uh, our our laws and our freedom and uh, and uh, you know that uh, uh, the United States is mili- be great. Our, our military. Oh yeah, the United our, States will our, kill your ass. There's no no <laughs> doubt a doubt about that. This is good. United States is number one in in dropping bombs and shooting airplanes off of uh, boats. There's no doubt about that. But um, as far as freedom goes, the U.S. doesn't show up in the top ten on any chart at all at this point. As far as freedom from an economic or social standpoint. Well, I still think you're doing a great disservice to the country by continuously putting us down. Who's Good us? Luck. Goodbye. Okay, well, Dan. I mean, I'm I just. Mean, I'm just. Okay, Dan. Dan doesn't want to. Dan doesn't want to talk like, about that. He was like, "What do you mean you're challenging my ideas? I've been watching Fox News all day. I know that this is correct." <laughs> well, I, I, all I can do is look at the. I wouldn't call social science a hard science, but what I can do is look at the studies. People compare. Places like, um, you know, Canada, New Zealand, places like that, they show up more economically yeah, yeah. free. Huge militaries are not exactly known for bringing a great deal of freedom, sir. And, you know, if you're uh, number one in per capita population in prison, uh, I think that that's another indicator that you might be living in a police state. And if your police are murdering people every single day in numbers that can't compare to the rest of the planet, maybe you think twice about the whole freedom thing. Let's go to Justin Bieber. God knows what he wants to talk about. Justin, you're on Free Talk Live. There you go. (laughs) We waited all that time for that. Well, it was well well worth it. Yeah. Thanks, Justin Bieber. I I like the colors red, white, and blue as much as anyone. Um, I like eagles. Uh, I like them. I like FA-18 Hornets. Flying over uh, football games. It's not like there's never been one small tear that snaked down my eye, uh, my, down my cheek from my eye, while listening to the Star Spangled Banner. It's uh, you know what, be preparing for some sports game. There's no doubt that that has occurred for me. I think that there's very special things about the United States um, from a historical standpoint. I think those things have been squandered by politicians in Washington, D.C. And I think that patriotism gives those people cover. Those people run under the cover of patriotism. Yeah. Nationalism. Blind nationalist sentiment will just blind somebody to all of the data. It's just like, oh, I have the highest prison population, the most military spending, and I'm still just going to call it freedom because that's what my nationalist education taught me. If you're in a foot race and you're in... 15th place, but you think you're in first? You just sing, proud to be an American. Freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. 